Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing amazing. It's finally time for a new patch. I'm very excited. We have more lore, more characters, and obviously Yelan came out today, and also more Chasm lore, which I'm very excited about too. We're gonna do that today, and I hope you'll enjoy it. You know me, you know how long I've been talking about it, and I couldn't contain myself. Here's a super small teaser for what's coming this weekend. <laughs> Is that good enough? <laughs> Is that good enough of a teaser? Yes, I pulled. We're gonna be building her, leveling her, everything after the story quest. I don't really know what the story's about. All I know is that there is Ita, there is Kuki, and that's all, actually. Shao is in there as well. The picture is really nice. Let's have a quick look at it. Perilous Trail, look at this, it's beautiful. It's the it's the Jiggly Yelan actually. Ita looks amazing in this. Everything looks beautiful in this art. It's an event actually, this isn't even the quest, because this is the quest. I think. <laughs> is it? Oh my god, wait, it's yet on story quest. There's so much story. Start by the Archon, huh? Oh, right. It's not actually an Archon quest, it's an interlude quest. Here we go. Let me press J. Here's where it is. Perilous Trail. Go to the lower levels of the chasm. I believe this is... I get it. It's in the chasm. Thanks for putting a big block of text on my face. Let's get into it. I'm way too excited, talking way too much. Let's get into it for the sixth time. Oh. Hey. For a little investigation, Paimo wouldn't ever come anywhere near this place. That's fair. Hey, look! I, I know. Someone over there. I've been mentioning it. We'll talk to her in just a second. I only just woke up, was so excited, I had to check out the patch, but I should get some breakfast first. Hey, you two, get a little snack, get a little drink. Let's get comfy, and then when I come back, we're gonna be owning and doing this quest. See you in a second. Let's do it. Go to the lower level of the chasm. I'm there. Yanfei, what you gotta tell me? What's up, boss? Long time no see. Oh, Traveler and Paimon? Uh huh. I didn't expect to see you two here. How not? We've been- this is everything- what do you mean? Who's informing you? They're bad. Yanfei? Shouldn't you be at work in Lile Harbor? What are you doing out in the middle of nowhere? Well, to be perfectly honest, this case is a little out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. In fact, this is the first time I've ever witnessed the bottom of the chasm. Oh, but before I forget, could you do me a favor, please? Of course. If anyone happens to ask about me or my present whereabouts, just tell them you haven't seen me. Maybe you should have put on some less bright colors down here. Huh? What are you talking about? Yanfe, you didn't do something illegal, did you? No, no, it's not like that. Uh, look, it's quite a long story. And are you going to tell us so the story? So if you could, please just cover for me. I'll see you later. Wh what? She's just gone. Is she ru she's running away. Hey! Huh. And there she goes. What in Tevet was that all about? I don't know. I'm on starting to feel nervous all of a sudden. I don't. <laughs> She did something illegal and no. now she's gone into hiding here. No. <gasps> or maybe something super scary happened. That probably. I doubt it. Yan Fei's a legal advisor after all. Don't be so naive. The world is complicated these <laughs> days, you know. I'm on telling you that. For the worst. Something really did happen. We might find ourselves becoming our accomplices. Oh, we already are. Oh, what a dilemma. Should we really cover for her? Paimon, you're the one that's both naive and complicated. This is true. This is. Hey, what the hell is that? Hello? Hey. This is hey, exciting. You over there. Yeah, you. Hey, Ita. Oh, they ran. <laughs> Someone's coming. How do we... we heard his voice? We know who it is. But that voice sounds pretty familiar. Yeah, exactly. Ito. Ito, they're running. Yo, Cookie looks ah, cool as well. It's you two. Hey. So, uh, what are you two doing in a place like this, huh? Wait, don't tell me. Hmm. <laughs> You're on vacation. Uh huh. I'm on vacation. It's the one and only Ita. How doesn't everyone know that we're the ones that opened this place? I must say, you two are looking pretty good. Things Thank been going you. your way lately? Because I have been doing amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love to hear it. Uh, Ito? Who's that behind you? It's a Cookie. Hey there. Hey I'm there. with the Arataki gang, Kuki Shinobu. Okay. Nice to meet you. Cool. Oh, <laughs> all right. I almost forgot she was back there. <laughs> Let me introduce you to Shinobu, the pride and joy of the Arataki gang. That's cute. Oh, another member of Ito's gang. Yeah, and she seems competent in comparison to our other boys. Let me tell you, she's one of Hanamizaka's best and brightest, so mm -hmm. of course she's in the gang. Shinobu oh, takes care of gang. practically everything in the Arataki gang. She can protect you guys too, you know. Speaking of gangs, if you want to join... My gang, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> I try to slip one of those in every now and then, though. I hope you don't mind. Friend of the boss is a friend of mine. Okay. You must be the traveler in Paimon. That's not how you pronounce this. How do you think this is pronounced traveler, man? Yep, yep. Nice to meet you too, Shinobu. Nice to meet you, Cookie. The pleasure's mine. I have a feeling that we'll be working together soon enough. Yeah, I think so. She's very pretty. I like so, her. Uh, Ito, if she's the one that takes care 
of everything in the gang, <laughs> then doesn't that kind of make her the gang's real boss? Yes. <sighs> Are you kidding? Of course I'm the boss. <laughs> To the four corners of Tavat, there is only one boss of Hanamizaka's legendary Arataki gang, a me. He always has these cool poses. It's more like Ito's the icon, you know? Uh, okay. She's the boss, though. Paimon gets the dynamic now. A useless boss with an ultra-capable subordinate. <laughs> Classic. Hey, you... Uh, you know what? Puncher. Forget it. The average person couldn't possibly understand the dynamics of the Arataki gang. Uh -huh. As the leader, I can't let myself stoop down to your level. Very respectable. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, have you seen a pink-haired legal uh, mage <laughs> lady? <laughs> Yo. Her goofy hat, knows everything, kind of short. Yeah, that's how I'd call her too. Pink-haired legal mage lady. I, I, I love it. Uh-oh. No, we don't know anything. We are clueless. Her name's Yenfei. She's a legal advisor from Liyue. I thought perhaps you two would know her. We do know her. Oh, no. We haven't seen her. We don't know this person at all. <laughs> Seriously, Paimon? You let it slip the moment you said, uh-oh. Aha, so you have seen her. No. Uh, no? What gave you that idea? <laughs> Paimon didn't say anything. Or see anything. Oh, look at you getting all antsy. <laughs> <laughs> Seems I was able to get to the truth after all. Mm. When someone is lying, their eyes often start wandering subconsciously. Okay. Can't lie to her. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. I assure you we don't have any ill intentions. Okay. So, uh, what is it about? You guys though? know Yanve? Well, she uh kind of saved my life, so uh Oh. Yeah, you could say we've met. Okay. She saved your life? Wait, hold on. What are you two doing in the chasm anyway? Sorry, Pama can be a bit slow. You know that the Sakoku decree has been lifted recently in Inazuma, right? Yes. Well, Shinobu wanted to come to Liyue and pick up her graduation certificate. Cute. I came along because it's safer to travel in numbers. Also cute. Graduation certificate? Did you study in Liyue? Yes. Seems I studied so? law at the Tongwen Academy in ah. Liyue. Unfortunately, the Sakoku decree was implemented just when I was home visiting my family before graduation. Right. So I'm a few years late getting my graduation certificate. <laughs> okay. We were taking care of some errands in Liyue, and the boss got tangled up with some millilith while we were standing in a line. Hmm. He was about to get arrested when, luckily, Yenfei happened to be walking past and helped us out. Because she knew Kuki from law school. Yep. If it wasn't for her, our trip to Liyue would have ended with me in the slammer. <laughs> And like another so, classic. You know, I just wanted to do something nice to show my heartfelt gratitude. Sounds kind of sus. But she said she didn't need my help with anything. I thought there's a chance she might run into trouble here on her own, so I followed her here. <laughs> just in case she needs me to come leaping to her rescue. Of course. So you're forcing her to accept your help. Do Oni usually repay acts of kindness like this? Listen, Granny said that a man must learn to be grateful. And <laughs> I'm gonna help this legal advisor lady no matter what it takes. Yeah, or maybe just accept that she doesn't want your help. It's gonna come out perfectly. You know, you know she's gonna be in trouble and Ito's gonna save the day. It's bound to happen. Uh, that's nice and all, but what if she really doesn't need your help? Yeah. <laughs> You're joking, right? I mean, that's not possible. Hey. Of course she needs my help. You should listen to your granny's advice better. <clears throat> Traveler. Yeah. She's trying to hint at something. That way. What is there? She's hinting for me to distract Ito. Oh, what's that? She went that way. Ah, great. Thanks. I'll go after her. <laughs> Shinobu, time to roll. Is he gonna run again? Aw. Uh, I like Shinobu already. You're not my savior. Ito's coming to your rescue. Appreciate the help. Until next time. What do you mean, what help? Come back. I'm uh, so confused. Traveler, did you just send Ito the wrong way on purpose? Huh, Shinobu seemed pretty sharp. <laughs> Paimon doesn't think you can pull one on her like that. Shinobu was the one that told us to do it, Paimon. Or maybe she knows that Ito exactly. can be a big nuisance, so she's trying to stop him from bothering Yanfe. Yes. Oh, if that's the case, then wow, she really knows how to call the shots. I like her a lot. She's a boss lady. Well, at least this way nobody will be bothering Yanfe. Mm -hmm. If we run into her again later, we should let her know that we helped her out. No, as good friends, we just do it and we don't care about credit. Hmm. All right, now let's go take a look at the crash site from last time. Okay. I still don't know why exactly we came down here. Perilous Trail, Interlude Chapter, Act 2. The Unexpected Guest. Go deep within the chasm. That's gotta be me, as in Yela. Oh, it's Yanfei still. Bro, Paimon just said if we meet her again later and we instantly see her again. If we happen to run up to her again. Hey, Look, it's us again. Yanfei is here too! Wow, what a coinky ding. Hey, Yanfei! We sent away the people that were following Why are we trying to claim credit? Paimon, stop, man. 
Oh, good. Thanks a lot. The guy with the weird outfit seemed super <laughs> outgoing. Normally, I don't mind making friends, but I've got work to do today. You could have just said that to him. Huh? So what kind of work are you doing in a place like this? Aw, oh, don't tell Paimon you're thinking about becoming an adventurer, too. As if she isn't an adventurer already. Well, as a legal advisor, sometimes I also have to travel in person. I came to the chasm to deal with a will. Okay. Uh, a will? A will. Smith? That's right. I found a will inside an old book. Okay. I'm guessing it was left by someone of great importance. Hmm. It appears he lost a magical device and wished to retrieve it. Interesting. Paimon didn't know legal advisors have to deal with that kind of thing. Huh, what a job. Will execution is also part of my work as a legal advisor. What? Of course, cases like this are quite rare. The chasm is not the kind of place you can just waltz into whenever you want. What are the odds that I just opened this place as you get this? That's crazy. Oh, so you do know what kind of place this is. Yelan? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> okay, she's going to be like, hmm. A dangerous place. Ah, I thought I might find you here. They know each other. <laughs> yes. Yes. I knew she was going to do a cool jump down. I, I legit was going to say it too. I heard the arrows falling. Whatever case you're working on in the chasm, I'm sure Liyue's top legal consultant can handle it without my input. No, no, no. We need your input. <laughs> That's funny. I thought we'd established that my legal opinion doesn't count for anything when Yelan's around. <laughs> uh, okay. Is she? Well, Yelan, didn't you just hear it? This is Yelan. Leo is, uh. Well, let's just say she works in the Ministry of Civil Affairs. <laughs> I can at least say that much, right? <laughs> anyway, she's a friend of mine. She's secret. Sure. Coincidentally, I have something to do here as well. See? It seems chance has brought us all together. See, we're besties already. She also used Quinky Dink. Crazy. You may not know me, Traveler and Paimon, but I've certainly heard about you. I've seen that arrow go shtoom or whatever Paimon said. Don't worry, I know who you are. Oh, really? I guess I do have many friends in Liwa. You're all here on business, and it's my job to monitor the chasm. Mm -hmm. According to regulations, I should accompany you. Okay, cool. But, as it turns out, I have other things Come that require on. my attention. Stop. I'm afraid I can't join you this time. You may go about your business. Just try not to make a ruckus. What are you gonna tease like this? Just join the party. Oh, that's most unfortunate. I was about to ask for your assistance. Me too. Could you spare a little time to help me take care of this will? For old time's sake? <laughs> Hmm, I don't know. Depends what's in it for me. Nice, good. <laughs> Fair enough. I suppose even a guide needs to get paid. Uh-huh. Just so happens that Madam Ping gave me some nice tea. Wow. I'll treat you to a cup if you agree. Tea? No one could refuse that, right? <laughs> Why don't you tell me a little more about how you got here first? Then I'll... Uh, you what? Hey, you! Oh no, it's Ito. He found us. Uh, Ito? Back here. He knew he knew we baited him. Oh no. Kuki hit him in the back of the head with a club. I know what you two did. You really tried to throw me off, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought we were buds. We are buds, but they're also my buds. That's close enough. <laughs> oh shit. Huh? Who are you? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Sorry, this area is part of the chasm. It's closed to the general public. <laughs> I love this. This is good rivalry. Are you kidding me? I, I I don't see any warning signs or fences. What gives you the right to keep me out? I'm a secret agent. Agent 47. Kid, <laughs> if there's real danger, you'll never see a warning sign. <laughs> uh, Paimon never knew this place was so important. Yeah, you do. It's a really unusual place. We've seen so many crazy things happen here. Come on, it was locked. We literally had to unlock... Paimon, please. I know I sometimes forget about easy lore, but this is like the most obvious stuff. It's true. This is not a place you can just go in and out of as you wish. That's also why I didn't want anyone to follow me. Unfortunately, you didn't listen. How dare they? The Traveler has done a lot for Liyue in the past, and Yenfei is a renowned legal consultant in Liyue, so I can trust <laughs> their intentions. As for you two... Mm -hmm. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're trying to say that I'm not famous enough and my intentions are no good? Well, she can't fact check them. I want to hear what Kuki has to say. I don't know your background, so I can't give See, you free you passage it. here. Besides, Yenfei doesn't seem to need your help, does she? <laughs> ha! How would you know what Yenfei needs? What, are you two joined at the hip or something? <laughs> right. Anyway... I don't need to be a mind reader to see that. In any case, as a visitor from Inazuma, I'd suggest you defer to a local when in doubt. Uh-huh. Stick to the local rules and keep yourself out of trouble. Fair. 
Why you? Why you? Cookie, say something. Please, try not to be so impulsive. She there you is go. right, you know. Cute. Uh oh, things are starting to get a little heated here. Nah, it's fine. Oh, no stress. Not good. You really shouldn't start butting heads with Yelon. It's fine. It's true that we don't know anything about the unique conditions of this place, so we'll heed your advice and leave immediately. But if this really is a dangerous area, <laughs> seriously, you should put up a sign. <laughs> Come on, there's a bunch of idiots out here. Put down signs. Who knew that a hole that goes 5,000 miles in the ground is a dangerous place? That's ridiculous. No one would think that. Thanks for the suggestion. Oh, consider it. Okay. Oh, Good yeah? Enough. And what if we don't leave? Hmm? Then I'll kick your ass. Boss. <laughs> then, I'm afraid things might get unpleasant. Mmm, who would have thought? Is that so? <laughs> you really think you can take the two of us? <laughs> I'd admit I like your optimism. Ito, stop being like this, man. Come on, get Although out of here. you're friends with the Traveler and Yenfei, I'd still suggest you heed my warning. You got power crept, Ito. You're no longer the strongest five-star. <laughs> Thanks for that, but uh, too bad I'm not buying it. If you're so strong, then why don't you show me what you got? <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool cut, honestly. Hold on, boss. There's no need to start a fight here. He is actually just Super Saiyan mode. Oh no, I'm going in whether she likes it or not. He's not gonna, he's gonna get tied up. <laughs> you think I was joking around, huh? <laughs> She's also powering up. Oh, no, these two are about to go at it. Nah, you're just gonna get tied up, 100%. Please, wait a minute, you two. This whole thing started because of me. Why don't you oh. just save me the embarrassment and just... <laughs> the ground is shaking? Uh oh, it's a... It's an earthquake. Is it? It's a big. It's a. This looks so cool, by the way. Where's your weapon, Ito? He's just standing there, arms open. Where? It's. Is it the mechanical snake? Hey, stop trying to change the subject. I'm gonna. Uh. Uh. uh -huh. <laughs> what are you gonna? Huh? <laughs> oh, cutscene. <laughs> he fell. He's doomed. Yo, more chasm. No way. There's more chasm. <laughs> oh no. Ouch. There's more chasm. Paimon's dead. I'm okay. Did we fall into this place? Uh, ow. Putting my books under me to break the fall <laughs> didn't help at all. Who would have thought? <sighs> this place. Oh no, not this place. Uh, where are we? The real chasm. I don't know. We're looking. It looks... It uh, used to be a place. I'm gonna feel that in the morning. <sighs> okay then, Hey, Bennett. Shinobu. Traveler. And my savior. Is everyone okay? <laughs> Except for Yelan. <sighs> well, this is an unfortunate turn of events. Maybe not. Maybe we're gonna find something that's important down here. Hey, so, uh, how far down did we fall? It seems the ground collapsed during our little confrontation up there. Perhaps because we triggered the elemental forces. Mm-hmm. Well, don't look at me. If you weren't so rude, maybe I wouldn't have gotten mad. <laughs> <laughs> Who can put up with that kind of dude? Dude. It's my duty to stop intruders from breaking into important places. If telling the truth sounds rude, then I'm afraid you're just a little too fragile. Oh, I love her! Hey, life's too short to give in all the time. Mmm, that's what it is. Boss, I'm afraid you're not going to win this argument. <laughs> I suggest we stop provoking her. <laughs> She's great, too. Hey, whose side are you on here? Ito, uh, I love you, man, but come on. I'm simply pointing out the facts. I understand how you feel. But you're making my life difficult by starting random fights with everyone. I agree. <laughs> Looks like Ito can't argue against either Yeon <laughs> or Shinobu. He's in a real tough spot now. <laughs> so, Ito and Shinobu are kind of like you and me. Uh, hey! What do you mean? Don't you dare compare Paimon to Ito! Yeah, I wouldn't do that to Ito, you're right. Whoa, whoa, what do you mean? Are you looking for a fight too? <laughs> Kick her ass! I told you, use your burst, use the bat. Boom. <laughs> Everyone Whoa! You're a bit of an idiot. Whoa! That's actually so rude. That's just you know everyone knows it. That doesn't mean you should point it out. Okay, maybe I'm too fragile too. Damn. Tell her she's a floating baby. Emergency food. Something. You calling me an idiot? <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. Well, you're a, a puny little <laughs> flying lavender melon. Yeah. Huh? Let's go. Flying lavender melon. <laughs> oh, that's it. Paimon's mad. Time to give you an ugly nickname. I bull chucker. Wow. 
This quest is all over the place. Everyone's just fighting. We seem to be a long way down from where we fell. It's impossible to see what's going on up above. They're still arguing in the background. It's unlikely we'll be able to climb back up that far. <laughs> We'll need to find another way. We can climb. I'm sorry to interrupt your lovely little chat here, but I think there's something you may need to know. Tell us. The chasm is regarded as a mysterious area in the We knew this. It was sealed off for years due to a mining accident. Knew this too. Whatever goes on down here, mm -hmm. I suggest you remember this. Okay. You didn't see anything. I'm blind. You didn't hear anything. I'm deaf. And you're not gonna ask any questions. I'm also mute. Save you from getting caught up in things you shouldn't know about. <laughs> I won't treat you as hostiles. And in exchange, I hope you won't make things difficult when it comes to keeping secrets. I'll do what I can to find a way out. <laughs> You've got yourself a deal. Huh? Well, where does she think she's going? Well, I'm trying to find the exit. Like she said, to search for an exit. Yeah. Chances are that Yelon is the best among us at survival Amogus. and handling emergencies. Sus. We should just let her go. I'm afraid I must apologize. Okay. I don't typically disclose details of a client's will to third parties, which is why I couldn't tell you the truth. I'm sorry. Fair. I came to the chasm in search of the Fantastic Compass, which is mentioned in the will. <sighs> the Fantastic Many years Compass. ago. My client gave this magical device to someone ambitious, hoping that it'd be handy in times of need. Fantastic. According to an eyewitness account, the person who received the device took it into the chasm and has been missing ever since. Oh my god, it's become a hill of troll. Throughout history, many wars have been fought in the vicinity of the chasm. Mm -hmm. Even if that person died in one of the wars, I still wish to do my utmost and find the device and fulfill the client's wish. Ah, what a pain. Yelon's words of caution were not unwarranted. There are dangers lurking in the chasm. Nah. I'm sure you've all realized that by now. We're fine. Given that we're all caught in this mess, let's try to find a way out together. I like this though, it's cute. One of the things is, we know Xiao's gonna pop up at some point, so definitely some some crazy stuff's gonna happen. Whatever right? you say, my savior, I'll do whatever you ask. From now on, we're a team. All of us. And as for that big jerk, <laughs> I guess that includes her too. Wow. You said Yelan works for the Ministry of Civil Affairs, huh? Byman can tell she's tougher than most. Useless but... comments? Epic? Wow. Job sounds demanding. No one cares. Well, that's what she tells outsiders. I can't disclose too much about her identity, but I'd say she's the only person who can handle this type of work. Great. What kind of lame job would have someone go out to the middle of nowhere? What are you doing right now? Oh, I'm a nose and adventure. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Hey, what's with the face? Yeah, that's an amazing oh, face. something wrong? That's literally what the two of us do, isn't it? I'm the adventurer, Paimon. Not you. Uh, you're Thank so you. stingy these days. <laughs> No. By association, okay? No. Yeah, she's got a point, Traveler. You're Paimon's boss. Take it from me. As a great <laughs> leader, you should learn to be a little more generous. Mm. You know, let your sidekick share some of the glory. Man, maybe he's right. Ugh, you really don't understand anything about it. <laughs> maybe he's right, though. Paimon, don't take him too seriously. He's just joking. No, he's not. He's about to say, no, I'm not. <sighs> For the sake of Shinobu, fine. Everyone's just pissed. There must be an aura down here. The aura of anger. <laughs> I'm the boss, so I'll let it slide. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps this was another sealed location, but an undocumented one. Ah. What could be in here? Let me guess. The compass of fortitude or whatever it was. I forget already. I've got already. some food and water on me. If anyone needs some, just let me know. What kind of food? Great! You know, Bull Checker, you may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but your subordinate here seems super capable and reliable. Come on, you're you're just as bad for starting this stuff again. Bull Checker is kind of a cool nickname too. <laughs> I know. Isn't she the best? What? Hey, I am too a sharp tool. I am too a sharp tool. There seems to be an entrance up ahead with a path inside. Please let us go. Wonder where it leads to. Well. Let's go take a look. Yes. Oh my god, I'm playing the game. So where is this? Oh my god, we don't know. It's secret. It's very secret. Look at this, look at this. Can I show you this? Whee! Look at this move, it's so cool. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> oh my god, the abyss. Yelon, what do you think? Who would have guessed we'd find a domain entrance in a place like this? I kind of would have, to be honest. If there's a way in, then there's a way out. Let's go and take a look. I agree, but she's gonna be like, wait, we have to ex exercise caution. The rocks here seem to be old Liyue mountain rocks. Mm -hmm. They're similar to what I've seen in books. Mm -hmm. 
This domain must have existed for quite some time now. Okay, and time stops in domain, so the man with the compass is in here. Let's go. Oh my god, it's another planet of Euthymia. <laughs> <laughs> What's that sound? What is it? <sighs> oh, baby. We're being tracked. Hey, <laughs> Sha, what's up, homie? What boy? You came in way before the spice, actually. I think you're a bit early. I was just talking about you. I didn't mention his name, and that's how it works. You know it. When you mention his name, he pops up. Cool. Good to see you. Oh, it's Sha. Hey, Sha. Conqueror of demons. What are you doing here? Conquering demons. You know how it is. Huh? Huh? Oh, uh, I came down from above. Uh, I heard a noise, so I followed it here. Bit sus. So you're not here by accident. Wanna team up? <laughs> Wanna team up? No, I have something else. Come to on. Do. Is it important though? I'm looking for someone. Okay. You shouldn't be here. I would urge you to go back as soon as possible. Well, it was an accident. Hey, what the you can't just do that. You have to tell us more. Well, that's show for you. Shows up without a warning and disappears without a trace. He just popped out of existence. He's dead. Huh. That guy looked pretty tough. <laughs> Maybe almost as tough as me. Seems like a solid dude. <laughs> Seriously? Checker, where do you get your confidence from? Well, he's pretty strong, to be honest. Should we really be letting him go off on his own? Shall? Yeah. Oh, we're fine. he wouldn't listen, no matter how much you tried to talk him out of it. He is super tough, though, so don't worry about him. Yeah, don't worry. Everyone, keep your eyes and ears peeled from here on out. We don't know what lies ahead, so we have to be ready for anything. She just ignores what Jazz said. I'm like, yeah, we shouldn't be here, whatever. Oh, look, I'm happy to say we're all on the same team and everything, but uh, could you cut the little speeches and the whole <laughs> follow the leader act? Ironic. I, for one, think I should be able to look after myself. Okay, well, can we just stop the talking then and get to the boss? Boss! <laughs> See, get to the boss. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. There has to be a boss, right? This feels like a boss fight oh, quest. Just looking out for everyone. No, Bullchucker. You're a guest here, so maybe try to get along with everyone. Oh, we agreed, apparently. We nodded. Ha! Please! You're not a local either, Flying Lavender Melon. <laughs> so stop trying to sound like one. Yeah, fair. I, I understand the sus face. Ooh. Domain entrance. Ooh, two little XP books. Cosmic Maze. Enter the domain. Chamber of Twisted Cranes. A domain you discovered for the first time while trapped within the chasm. It seems to have been sealed away for a very long time indeed. Recommended elements? Hydro. I got that. So, apparently you can enter this again, because it says first discovered when trapped in the chasm. Current party level is lower than recommended. <laughs> My level 60 Goro and 70 Aloy with no gear are definitely gonna pull their weight. Rotate. Labyrinths like this oh. are unique to Liyue. I remember this. This was in Xiao's quest this initially as well. pretty cool. If we weren't in such a hurry to get out, we could kick back and enjoy the scenery a little. Oh, I'm not in a hurry. I'm gonna enjoy the scenery all I can. Ooh, pyro slime. Okay, okay, do the pyro. Yeah, watch this, watch this. Quietly. Pop. Holy shit, was that 50k? No way, that was 50k. I have to, this looks absolutely incredible. I'm so, oh my, that was trippy. This looks so nice. I'm gonna enjoy the moment. I really missed questing, like a lot. I really, I've been wanting to play a voiced story quest in so long, and I'm very excited to do it again. Ooh. Oh, there's a wall, unfair. You can't see me. Busted. Boom. Buster Wolf. Bum. We burst in. I don't care what you tell me, she's main DPS. Pop. Quietly now. <laughs> this is such spoilers for the next video. Look at that. That's so cool. The upwards, upward, upside down thingy. Dude, this character, man. I love her so much. Oh no. I thought we were. Okay. I wanted to flip it. Kinda. We have to be able to walk up and then walk down on that side, just like this. And then we can flip it around and probably walk up in here when it's flipped around again. Which is a very cool mechanic, I must say. Flip. That is weird. How's, how are those lamps gonna be floating, huh? This don't make any sense. More enemies. Tied up. Bum, bum. <laughs> I love her. Dead. Oh, more. More fighting. Oh, bishops. I'm dodging everything. I got punched again during the thing. Yeah! Challenge complete! That was it? That was fun! Give me more of this! I wish this became like a, oh, an event or something. An event with randomized things like this that you could do weekly or something? Oh, wait, not even an event, a new weekly, that'd be so cool. Like a maze. No, honestly though, imagine a cool maze like this where you'd be able to clear it once a week and it'd be a randomized path with these flipping thingies, the flipping puzzles and everything, and a, and a couple fights. That'd be so cool and a lot of fun. Alright, let's go. Well... 
We what just came out the same place, or what? Wait, this ain't right. Oh no, it's the infinite loop again. It's another hint towards the end of the game. That it's an infinite loop until we get the right answer. Uh, how did we end up back here? It actually is that. Oh. So we've been here already? Or it just looks exactly the same. Yes, this is exactly where we started. No, maybe it looks exactly the same. Yellow does look pensive. But we couldn't have taken a wrong turn. We were headed in the same direction the entire time. We never turned around. It's true. Yes, that's what I thought too. See, she has a smart answer. Tell us, enlighten us, Yelan. Traveler, we were going the right way, weren't we? I thought we were headed in the right direction. How strange. Hmm. There's a legend in Inazuma about a merchant who was tricked by a Bake Danuki one evening and kept circling around the same place the whole night. Yeah. Even by dawn, they still hadn't found a way out. Oh no. We're doomed. It's over. GG. Yeah. Paimon's heard that one before too. Oh? So we're all familiar with the story then? Good. Because I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to us right now. Well, where's the Bake Danuki? But fear not, I happen to have a certain sidekick who can exercise yokai and spirits and whatnot. <laughs> Let me summon him real quick. Oh wait, what? <laughs> Unbelievable. And only who's friends with an exorcist? Uh huh. Huh. What an open-minded guy. Oh wow, I know you're friends For with him, the huh? Boss, ignorance is a virtue. <laughs> Imagine this in real life. Man's just stamping with his feet in the water. Doing some kind of little chant. Hunna, 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 hunna. You're up, Ushi. Go get that spirit. <laughs> Smacks a cow in the water. Oh. Moo. What's up, Ushi? Jamming. I see it. Okay. HD gem. Nice. This is Ushi, an auxiliary member of the Artaki gang. What's up, Ushi? I like it. It's cute. Mm. Oh, nice flip. <laughs> oh, Ushi says hello, everyone. You can just call him Ushi or Beefcake. Yeah, he's got a keen sense of direction. So <laughs> the way. I love it. This is a great quest. I didn't know gangs could have auxiliary members. Come on, of course you did. The Ito gang is special. The Arataki gang is crazy like that. This does not have the trappings of something that's gonna work. What do you mean? Trust the cow. Hashtag trust the cow. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> All right, go Ushi. Go find us a way out of here. Ooh, I believe it. I have full faith. Ushi begins looking around for a hidden exit. He was sliding. Ushi is way bigger here. My Ushi is so tiny. My Ushi not even the size of of Paimon. Huh? What's that? Oh, really? Oh no way. No, no, no. It worked. It worked. You're getting baited. What's wrong? He didn't find an exit. Ushi says he searched everywhere, but there's no exit. We're doomed. That doesn't add up. If we were able to come in, then there must be a way to get out. Here, let me take another look. Okay, have fun. Has anyone else noticed this? We initially thought we fell here from above. At that time, there was a way out high overhead. Uh-huh. But now, it seems even that exit has disappeared. Because it's just the same room that looks exactly the same, but isn't the same. It's a bait. The cake is a lie. Inexplicable, if you ask me. Oh, it's very explicable. It seems there's more than meets the eye with these underground structures. Yes, Cookie. Hmm. I'm gonna take another look around. Okay, bye. Have fun. Everywhere we look, there are just more and more rats. Mmm, good analysis. Uh, maybe we've just misremembered. Maybe this isn't the place we started from. That's what I've been saying. What? You scared now? What does it have to do with being scared? No, Paimon's super brave. <laughs> Ooh, I could VA Ushi. Damn, yo, if you do, if you do Frog Genshin, please invite me. I could do like Ribbit, Ribbit. Oh yeah, well, uh, Ushi also thinks you're scared. It's okay, <laughs> don't be scared to admit you're uh, scared. <laughs> You've got us here to protect you. Don't be scared to admit you're, uh, scared. Yeah, I'm here for you too, Paimon. Oh, what happened? You see that? We can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs. Let's keep looking for a way out. I Shinobu, agree. you stay here with my precious savior. I'll take the Traveler and Paimon with me. <laughs> That's how I feel every day when I wake up, Ita. I have to take this stupid floating baby. Got it. Be careful, everyone. Bye. Please, there's no need to keep calling me savior. Just... Yenfei is fine. Mr. Arataki, it seems that as the head of the Arataki gang, you possess a strong sense of leadership. <laughs> wow, that feels really honest and real. Ah, too kind, too kind. <laughs> just call me Ito. Since we're a team now, we should have each other's backs. Uh, Paimon, if you feel scared again, I can cover your eyes for you. <laughs> I love it. You split into teams to investigate the surrounding areas, some, some. Seems there's really no way out. Yeah, there is. Mm. Mm. Ah, I can't. 
can't shake the feeling that there's something off about this place. Really now? Well, you know what? We've lost Yanfei and Shinobu now, so... Boss, did oh, you guys find mind. anything over there? Nothing. Not only that, I could have sworn I saw some shadows moving a second ago. This place better not be haunted. You scared? <laughs> Probably not the right time to ask this, but Paimon just can't help it. Ito, you're an Oni. Doesn't that kind of mean everywhere you go is haunted? <laughs> yeah. No, ignore the red horns, okay? I, I'm talking about spooky, floaty ghosts. Now you see them, now you don't kind of haunted. Like Xiao. Xiao's kind of like that, now you see him, now you don't. Uh, Ito, are you afraid of ghosts? I'm afraid of no ghosts. Oh no, boss, you've been found out. <laughs> oh, cookies are toxic. What? Me? <laughs> no way. What, are you kidding? Stop joking around. Stop joking around. Seriously, though. Uh, seriously, though. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you, Paimon suddenly doesn't feel scared anymore. Hey, Bullchucker, if you're scared, Paimon can cover your eyes for you. You're both nerds and bullies. <sighs> yeah, same. Can we just go with Cookie and forget about these two? Maybe I should make better use of my time. I, I feel the exact same way. Hmm, she never walked off to grab a few stones. Then she took out some twigs and lavender melons from her pocket. Yeah, she's cooking food. Add a little salt and some pepper. <laughs> they just pop into existence. Hey, I love cooking too. Are you roasting lavender melons the same way Paimon and Ito are roasting each other right now? Yeah, roasted lavender melon is delicious. Mm hmm You can try some when it's done. Okay, what a weird answer. Yeah, I'd gladly taste some. Oh, right. There are two types, sweet and savory. Oh. Which would you prefer? I'm feeling sweet right now. All right, you can try them both then. It's important that we remain calm, mm -hmm. especially when we're in the throes of a tough situation like this. I agree. I like it. If I'm reading the situation correctly, there seems to be some secret here that the boss and I are not supposed to know about. But don't worry. I'll distract the boss while you discuss things with the others. That didn't really work last time. You ended up finding us anyway. Oh, I thought I smelled something cooking. Is it the rock? Can you smell what the rock is cooking? We're in the middle of stones. It's another reference. I see you, Genshin. Do you like some Yanfei? Sweet or savory? Thank you, but I'm not hungry. You guys go ahead. Why are you gonna... wait? Okay. Oh, and by the way, I haven't seen you in a while, Shinobu. What? Yeah, it oh. has been a while, Law hasn't school. it? The last time I saw you was when you taught one of my classes as a substitute while I was studying in Lee. Oh, yeah. Well, law school, but not as study mates. Substitute teacher? Ah, yes. Now I remember. It was during winter, wasn't it? Ah, of course, during winter. Yes, I remember everyone said your lecture was very interesting. Oh. Now that I think about it, I should call you senpai. Yes. Yes, Yanfei senpai. I like how they didn't translate it just because senpai is a meme. Ooh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <sighs> Who would have ever guessed that we'd get caught up in such a dilemma together? It must be fate. So Yanfei gives lectures too? That's incredible. That's not that incredible. Not only that, she's funny and engaging while she speaks. Needless to say, she's very popular among the students. That's great. <laughs> Oh, I'm flattered. Cute. <sighs> I see everyone is still here. Yes. Yelon, we split into groups and searched the area, but there are no signs of any way out. How about you? Did you manage to find anything? <laughs> she just twerk it in the background. <laughs> no. No. And though I'd prefer not to say it, we'd better mentally prepare ourselves. What for? If we can't find a way out, we may be stuck underground for some time. What are we going to eat? We're dying. We're eating Ushi. It's over. I think you might be right. It's fine. I understand. I don't. Hmm. An underground space with an entrance but no exit. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't make any sense. I'll figure something out. Just give me some time. Can we not go through the domain again? If anyone happens to find a potential exit, please be sure to take every precaution before exploring further. Okay. Come to think of it. Xiao's here too. He said we can always call his name if we get in trouble. Hey, that's what I did earlier. Maybe it's worth a try. Ciao! Hey, Traveler! What's with the serious face? Do you have a plan? Well, I was thinking that Xiao is also here, remember? Xiao! Oh, right! Do you want to get in to help us? I think it's worth a try. Sure! Let's give it a shot! Here we go. Ciao! Can you hear me? Huh. Hmm. Uh, Xiao? Huh. No response. I even thought Xiao would come no matter where we are. Well, we're doomed already. Oh. We're too far Does down the rabbit hole. We're in the Xiao nether. Can't sense our here? Yes. Hmm. Oh, dramatic shot? I wonder what that could mean. What's the deal with this place? 
telling you it's the nether talk to everyone on explore i'm doing the domain again the domain is gone i see i guess that's it i want to take another look and this time i arataki uh, the one and only will boss yeah you're kind of exhausting right now this is not the moment to mess whoa, around whoa whoa what's up sourpuss sourpuss Time for some roasted lavender melon. Huh? Cookie is definitely the boss. We're trapped in a life and death situation underground, and you're telling me it's time for roasted lavender melon? Yes. Bushi agrees. Interesting. You hear that? Bushi says you're completely right. Uh huh. Wait, hold on. Whose side are you on, Beefcake? <laughs> I'm sorry, boss. It's important to stay replenished. I agree. We must keep our energy and morale up in preparation for facing the unknown. Good call. Even Bushi knows that. Of course, Bushi knows that. Fine. You two. Are Hey, are you already eating? Yes. Well, hold on. Is it still warm? Oh, oh, oh that does smell good. Fine. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll just we'll have a quick snack and then we'll uh, and then we'll keep looking for a way out. Hey, don't eat them all. <laughs> Leave a couple for me. <laughs> I like how this Ushi is eternal. My Ushi is so short. This Ushi lasts forever. Hey, Enfei. Mm -hmm. Who could have ever guessed we'd get trapped in a place like this? Oh, I'm used to it. It's quite the predicament. No, it's not the craziest thing that's happened to me. Believe it or not. For all the studying I've done in my life, all I know is how to land people in prison. <laughs> I don't know the first thing about breaking out of one. <laughs> nice. I even made a contract with my father to live a happy life. Good contract. I can't give up hope now. Try and stay positive. At least I've explored a new place <laughs> right. and seen more of the world while reuniting with some old friends. We're gonna make it out, Yanfei. <laughs> yeah, there's still a silver lining. I guess. Quit being a doomer. We're fine. You're with a traveler. I'm literally the MC. It can't go wrong. Oh my god, Tu Yelan. Hey. Our situation is grim. No, it's not. It doesn't not. appear to be a way out for now. It's fine. We should be prepared to stay for a while. You said this. I am prepared. Fortunately, we don't seem to lack supplies. And even our motley crew has people who can keep their cool when the stakes are high. Yeah. Just focus on taking care of yourselves. I'll figure out the rest. That's very nice. Oh. Interact with the mysterious wooden board in a specific place to visit the realms of Gao and War to take part in the combat challenge. That's the event? Don't tell me I can't do the rest of the quest yet. This is that. Okay, cool intro. We're in the chasm. Realms of Gao and War unlocked. I see. Unlocks in 16 hours, 1 day, and 2 days. Pain? <laughs> Big pain? Big pain! Can't do the rest right now, so I'll wait for the full thing to be out then. Crying. What the f- <laughs> What is all of this? But this is the event, isn't it? How do I get back here if I leave now? Because I can just leave. Game, you're trolling me. I'm back. We can now finally do the rest of this quest. Danger all around. Return to camp. Obviously, I was able to flee from the scenes. I guess. And gotta jump back in the hole, it looks like. It's not all out, by the way, so we're gonna have to take another break after this. Let's jump back willingly into this thing we are supposedly stuck in, which is now a portal of some sort. Interesting. Oh, I can't jump in. It felt like such a nice, you know, ender portal moment, but I guess I'll just press F. Hey, wait till the next day, bro. I waited an entire day in real life. It's the next day. Oh, we start with a cutscene. Okay. Uh, there's nothing for Paimon to do here. <laughs> so boring. Uh-huh. Oh, hope Paimon longs to stretch her legs and run free in the world outside again. Right, fly. Oh, all right, fly free then. Mm -hmm. Basically, Paimon just wants out of here. Yeah, I we can waypoint, you know, just like that. A whole day's gone by. Just a day? No, it feels like we've been down here for months. Okay, don't push it. Don't push it, Paimon. Uh, maybe not months, but at least like twenty days, surely. No. Yo yo, thought I heard you chat over here. Yeah, we were chatting. Oh, hey, Bullchucker. Well, everyone, I just completed another survey of the surrounding area. <laughs> Still nothing has changed today. Okay. Here, have some water and take a rest. Thank you, Shinobu. It's easy to forget to keep hydrated down here. You're right, even up here it's hard to stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, I'm about to take a sip. Ugh, out! I want out! <laughs> All I want is to cruise the streets and have beetle fights again. Boss, remember there's your image to consider. But it's so boring. Walking around this hole every day. I, if only every I day. Could slurp some ramen and see the beautiful flowers again. It's been one day. Why is everyone going insane? Ramen. Wait a minute. Speaking of ramen, traveler, are you hungry? Not really. I'm not hungry either. But let me pose the question this way: Who is the biggest eater among us? Among us again? Oh my God, Paimon. It's definitely not me. It's Paimon. Hey, what's everybody looking at me for? It's definitely not me. If anyone, it's this one right here. Huh? What are you looking at Paimon for? It's definitely Paimon. Paimon, are you hungry? Oh my god, time has stopped. Um, no. 
Time has stopped. Wait, didn't I say this? I said something about playing the TV theory room, but I didn't think of it as what where we are. I thought of it through that portal. Oh, Euthymia. Euthymia. One of those. Not Euthyrium. <laughs> uh, if that's the case... We're frozen in time! Huh? What, 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 what am I missing here? Paimon said she feels like it's been at least 20 days. Yes, I heard that too as I was walking over. The question is, how can you not feel hungry even after 20 days? That, and I feel like it's only been about one day. That's also strange. Of course, everyone has different perceptions of the passage of time, but how could one person feel like it's only been one day and someone else 20 days? Yeah, now that you mention it, I feel like we've been here three, four, five days, but I don't feel hungry or thirsty at all. Oh my god. Although I cooked some food, it wasn't because I was hungry. I just wanted to keep our spirits up. Mm -hmm. I was planning on saving our rations so we could survive a few more days, but I haven't really felt hungry since. These have been cooking for more than a day, by the way. Oh no, actually, they ate the last ones. I don't feel any real signs of fatigue either. Mm -hmm. Whether I sleep or not doesn't seem to have any effect on how I feel. Yes, I concur. Okay, we Resting understand. Make me feel Time is frozen. And staying awake doesn't make me any more tired. It's almost as if our physical state has been suspended. Hmm. The more you say, the scarier it sounds. Paimon doesn't even want to think about it. I wonder if Shao is experiencing the same phenomenon. What's wrong, Traveler? Did you think of something? Aren't we so late? Just read my mind, Paimon. You tell everyone that you were unable to summon Xiao. That's pretty weird. Sounds like the little dude must be in danger. What? How is that the conclusion? I mean, I know it is, but how? But he is an adeptus. This kind of situation should be no trouble for him. His powers have been I suppressed. I fear that this problem underground is bigger than we thought. Maybe. Where's Elon? I found Elon? something, everyone. Oh, there she is. I just discovered a new path over there that seems to lead to an unknown area. How could that have taken so long? But great. You mean a way out? Oh, finally! Let's go have a look. Yay! You found something! Please be the exit! It won't be the exit. The quest's not over yet. I anything out of the ordinary here what do you mean appearances can be deceiving as i was examining the wall just now mm -hmm. i noticed there was something unusual about this stone oh my god a pressure plate seems to me that it's been created using some illusory magic oh my god and behind it lies a passageway lisa this is like that very first lisa quest wow <gasps> so there really is a path behind here how has no one thought of this before and how can she just dispel it by pointing her hand at it had a hand it to ya. That sure wasn't easy to find. But at least we can finally get out of here. Yeah, thanks, Yelon. Miss Yelon's determination and eye for detail are certainly impressive. Not to mention, you've hardly had any rest the whole time we've been trapped here. Yeah, but you just mentioned no one gets tired here. Come on. It doesn't matter. I'm not tired. No one is. <sighs> well, given we're already here, we might as well go in and explore. Yeah. Right behind ya. Hyman can't wait to get out of this place. Okay, I'm playing the game. Danger all around. Continue exploring. Ooh, creepy cave. Ooh, another portal. Sure, I'll do another portal. City of Hidden Runes. A domain you found by accident while searching for the way out. Many mystical mechanisms lie within. Geo is recommended. I don't care, although I have Geo, even. Winning. About symbols. Oh, there's gameplay. The symbols of the platform will have different colors and images. Matching them together seems to be the key to solving the puzzle. Wow, ridiculous difficulty. If you step on the correct symbol, it will be activated, but you will take damage if you step on the wrong one. Search for and activate all the symbols on the platform to solve the puzzle okay so this is like two among us characters and one is standing in <laughs> in like a shadowy doorway <laughs> touch whoa <laughs> that's so trippy oh my whoa that is Lucy. trippy is that you what? hey did anyone else just hear Boss? that voice among us more and more and now you make me fight boys too? Oh my god, this is crazy. Kami Sato Arc. Alright, we freeze all of them. Or, or, or not this guy, apparently. Oh, okay. That's one done. Oh my god, four Amogus have spawned on some other platform. Oh, more! The light shapers on the platforms will shine unique beams of light upon the platforms opposite of them. Operate these devices to control the position and direction of those beams of light. Okay. The light shapers may be used to cast their light upon the large symbols on the platforms opposite them. Oh, uh, of course. Thereby activating those symbols. Activating all the large symbols seems to be the key to solving the puzzle. I, we got that far. Seems easy enough. Oh, 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 wow. I see. Huh. Whoa, this is, this is cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. That's cool. Really nice audio experience. Ta-da! 
This is really cool. The thing, this is an event again. I'll go back first. Trippy. This actually makes me kind of nauseous. I'll be honest. I don't have motion sickness or anything, but that is a lot. This is like Mew. He pose on a fire. Sick. Get me. Top fight. Is what some sort heck? of battle taking place here? Yeah. I wonder who could be involved. Ciao. I'm not taking any damage. That is my promise. But uh. I'm stuck on a stone pillar. Who would have thought in a weird place like this, what kills me is a stone pillar. Ow. Stop it. Bop. <laughs> He's in the cutscene dying. Okay. This is this is pretty easy. This is this is, this is not too bad. Very complicated puzzle. I'm stuck on the pillar again. They're actually my arc enemies. This one's pretty quick. I like that. Okay. Activated thing number two. What can I see? It's like a... I, mean, I can kind of see it from here. It's like a, a wrench and a scythe together. Oh, do the beams punch me if I go there? Now, I am not a fan of this motion. Cool no, to see, though. It's alive. Why would you become like this? I won't attack you. That's a huh. like Can he be in trouble? Whoa, sounds like someone forgot to invite us to the fight. Let's go and help him. Well, we don't know yeah, where he is. How are we gonna find him? Yeah. Is this just... I think this is right, but there must just be two of them here. Let me through. Okay, we have to parkour. Huh. Epic. Huh. Ah, I'm so good. Damn. What do you want? Busted. Huh. Busted. Get out of here. This looks confusing. Never mind. It's not that confusing. It's very easy even. Cool. There we go. One more to go. The blue one, which is like, honestly, just, it's a website. It's www and an E. It's this way, right? <laughs> Maybe I got used to it. It doesn't feel that bad anymore. Ws. Here they are. One W, two W, three W, and parkour. Oh, okay. That's the last one. Done. This looks weird. I think that's a bit glitched. Easy enough. The final one. Probably going to go there and activate a mechanism, I assume. Oh. Or it activates itself. Okay, is that like another domain Wait, opening? Seems to be leading to another platform. Uh -huh. Let's go and take a look. Sure. Don't throw up. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we're here. This ground has dissolved. Mm -hmm. What's down there? You, you tell me. Is that little dude called Shao down there? We gotta help him. I think that little dude called Shao is down there. I think you're right. Hold on. Something's not right here. Mm hmm. What's this? I don't know. What are you looking at? It appears to be a small fissure. Okay. Don't what touch it. What can you possibly find inside? It can't be a living person, can it? <laughs> uh, hi, thing. Conqueror of demons? Not the real one. Xiao, is that you? Mm hmm. Uh, <laughs> oh, quit trying to scare us, okay? <laughs> huh? Wait. Is this some kind of illusion? Paimon can't touch him! Why would you try and touch him? You're crazy. Conqueror of demons, can you hear us? What happened? Are you okay? Hello! Little dude! <laughs> Anyone home? <laughs> he isn't responding. What's going on here? I don't know. You. Me. Yes? What oh, is it, little wait, dude? Said something! Oh! Ooh! We followed your voice and found you here, but it's kind of strange. We can't touch you. How did you become an illusion? What? <sighs> an illusion? Yes. Talk about a coincidence. We were just thinking you went missing and stuff, and, and then we heard the sound of you fighting. Pretty lucky we found you, if you ask me. Oh, uh, <laughs> you didn't get hurt, did you? Why are we talking to a ghost like he's actually standing there? Hello? A coincidence. Wait. Coinky Dink. I tell you, Coinky Dink is the, like, the main, the red line of this story. Something's not right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Something's wrong with this domain. Leave now. Get out of there. Shout. Are you hurt? If he can. We're not listening we to him. We should have ever. him regroup with us as soon as possible. Yes. Tell us what happened and where you are now. We'll come find you immediately. He doesn't know. He doesn't even know he's a ghost. He has no idea what's going on. No. Your safety is the top priority. It seems this space can. Uh. Huh? He disappeared. <laughs> he sure did. Where did he go? Sounded like he might be injured. We need to go help him. Okay. It seems the Where, only though? option we have to explore any further is through that entrance over there. Jump. <laughs> He's injured He's and jumping. telling us to be careful? It's not like we're in any danger here. Sprint jump. Uh, uh, falling attack. How legendary would it be if he just ran in and plunge attacked right now? 
Anyway, the secret behind whatever's going on should be in this cave, right? Yes. Don't worry, little dude. It's Ito's gonna happen. On the way. Plunge attack, Ito. Boss, please don't go charging ahead. You're an Oni, not some hunting dog. <laughs> don't worry, I'm invincible. Oh, here he goes. Oh, my butt. Of course. You could have just plunged, not taken any damage. <sighs> Looks pretty deep. Be careful, everyone. Oh. Oh, hey, how'd you hurt your butt in this, Ito? I'm Lumine, by the way. Is this? It is my Lumine. <laughs> she has my gear and is level 87, like my Lumine. Great, where's the rest? That is crazy. We're still in that domain, actually. Examine the mysterious door. Well, this is not a mysterious door. This is Arataki Ito. I'm examining the door. It seems openable. Hey, Ito. Well, full Tucker, how's your ear? Come on, don't be toxic like this. Why are we zooming in on his ass? It's fine. Ugh, my butt is tough. Hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. You can cry if it hurts. I promise I'll try not to laugh. She'll try. What do you mean, try not to laugh? You should be feeling some serious sympathy for me right now. Yeah, not but cool. But wouldn't feeling sorry for you be a violation of your dignity? <laughs> Besides, it's harder not to laugh when I'm not the one in pain. True. <laughs> what? Oh, she poked it. That's so rude. <laughs> well, I'm glad I waited. How long was that cutscene? <laughs> Okay, I hope Paimon gets bullied at some point too. Paimon, don't laugh. <laughs> Whoa. It's okay, everybody. If you want to laugh at him, just let it out. Why is everyone so toxic, that It's so there's so many emotions. Don't you have a heart, Shinobu? People think I'm the monster. Right. Wait a second. I'm waiting. Show's not here, but. <laughs> but hey, it's funny because but but also is that a door? What is this? Is a very weird wording. Seems don't you think no we're in a domain everything's weird we've just done a thing that gave motion sickness maybe it's some sort of uh, i don't know an emergency shelter there yeah. was a picture book i read once that's that what said it nice is. people sometimes build cabins in dangerous places so that anyone in trouble can take shelter inside that's what it is a bunker she's so over it <laughs> our little dude must be inside then ah of course yeah well let's go then i wouldn't be too sure about that any person with a normal sense of danger wouldn't be so optimistic. What? How can you say this? Kuki, the person that wanted a danger sign in front of the chasm because it wasn't obvious enough that it'd be dangerous down there. Wow, bull chucker. Looks like your subordinate is telling you what's what. Why is Paimon so toxic right now? Oh, I believe she was talking to both of us. Yeah, so you can wipe that smug smile off your face. <laughs> All right, watch and learn, Shinobu. This is why I'm the boss and you're the deputy. If no one is macho enough to open the door, then allow me. Uh, I'll do it. Step aside. You gonna punch it? Once this door's open, we are out of here. He's gonna punch it. Wow. Didn't you see the mechanism right here? Like, Ito, homeboy. Yeah. That thing. <laughs> But they really went all in with the with the face stuff, huh? Nice one, brother. He was right. Oh, that's that's bait. Don't eat the food. We're not hungry anyway. Evil Oni, be oh. gone. You heard me. What? Get out of here. Evil Oni. Besides, my dude pronounced it like it was some kind of Italian food. Evil Oni, be gone. <laughs> Why is there a man? Oh, it's actually haunted. GG. Uh, am I seeing things, or was there someone behind the door? What is he got? Was he close already? What? Hey, let me in. Okay, well, if he sees some, I'm definitely gonna be seeing the sibling, right? If I go ah, in there. Can't be. You're just saying things. Right. Why don't we just open the door again and see? Why did the door close? Who? Uh, me? Oh, uh, all right. Uh, I'll open it again. I'll do it. <laughs> I heard a clap. All you do is goof around. Oh all day. my god! You're a bad influence Yo. to a child. Be gone! Hey, what the heck, man? That was actual jump scare. Oh, I didn't really get scared, but it was like sudden, you know? It's memories. <laughs> I can see him. Those people are carrying bowls. Beans! Bowls full of beans. What's that all about? They're Oni repelling. People throw beans to drive out Oni. Boss is an Oni, so they throw beans at him to get rid of it. It's literally a chamber of hate. When you go in there, you see what you dislike. Give me the fright of my life. What are people from Inazuma doing in a place like this anyway? True. Give someone else a try. Calm down now. You're a person from Inazuma too, you know. So what? Hey, let's get one thing straight, all right? I'm not a person. I'm an Oni. Yeah, you're a person. Right, but that's not the point. 
The question is, does this door lead to Inazuma? No, someone else open it. How could that be possible? This place is so weird. I'm gonna Who open the door again. Really See if anything changes. Did. You guys go right ahead. I'm not opening it again. I'm not so, asking you to. Up? Oh, how about Paimon? Yeah, I agree. Why don't you open well, it? Well, that'd be so interesting. No way! Somebody else do it. Paimon's scared. Fine, I'll do it then. All right, oh. I'll try. Cookie lore. That's our Shinobu. Now, don't let whoever's behind that door push you around, okay? Okay, cookie lore, cookie lore. All right. Let's see what's behind the door this time. Law school. Shock. Her mom. Still reading, Shinobu. Listen, young lady. You should keep your nose out of those books and start taking my advice. I've already found you a perfectly good job as a shrine maiden at the Grand Narukami Shrine. Oh my. You'll be far better off there than... See, it's actually repressed memories. <laughs> I want to see Paimon. Uh, Shinobu? Who is that? Her mom. No way. Was that who I think it was? Yes. Oh, this is embarrassing. That voice was my mother. I don't think that's embarrassing at all. How is that embarrassing? This is one place I wasn't counting on having to hear that speech again. Yeah. Your mother wanted you to become a shrine maiden? Uh, why are you asking? It wasn't that obvious enough. The whole reason I came to study in Liyue was because I didn't want to become a shrine maiden. My family never approved of my studies. So they wanted me to work in the Grand Narukami Shrine after I returned to Inazuma. From what we know about Lady Guji, it seems being a Shrine Maiden is a pretty cushy job. Yeah, she doesn't want that. Think of it this way. Some cats can be domesticated and kept in the house, mm -hmm. while other cats are meant to survive in the wild. Yeah. As for me, I need complete freedom and space. Fair. Although I do admit that being a Shrine Maiden is a decent job, yeah. it's just not for me. Well, that's good. That's right, your calling is with the gang. I mean, <laughs> just look at you. You rock! You're totally hardcore! Come on, am I the only one with chills right now? <laughs> it's true. You've got a good thing going. What's most important is that you enjoy what you do. Yeah. Gotta agree with you there. Of course. From the look of it, what's behind the door can change. And not only that, it always changes to something that nobody wants to see. So, uh, how are we gonna get through that? Don't forget, we have that little dude waiting for us to save him. We need to get our rear in gear. Okay. Would any of you like to give it a try? I want Paimon to try! Mm, no thanks. I'd prefer not to open it if only something terrible awaits. Whoa. If anyone's going to find a way through, it's not going to be me. Okay. Uh, Disappointing. Why? She doesn't want to share- She she's secretive. She doesn't want to share anything about her, it's fair. Because I don't buy it, that's why. I don't believe for one second that we're going to find the Conqueror of Demons by going through that door. So I'm sure as heck not going to be the one to get us through. Okay, you just don't want any secrets out, I get it. Not gonna lie, uh, you don't really sound like you have much of an imagination. All right, I'll try. Okay. Yeah, my savior. Show him what you're made of. Do you have any phobias, Yanfei? No question mark. I'm sure I probably do, but nothing springs to mind right now. I like it. Very brave. Let's go, Yanfei. Good luck. Anyway, I suppose I'll find out once I open the door. I like her. Brave. This is more, uh, Liwa style. You old geezer. Out of eight pounds of salt, today you gave away three for free, sold two, and exchanged three for booze. How much money did you actually make in the end? Who's this? Huh? But didn't you tell me to sell things as I pleased? Why can't I give the customers something for free? Okay, I like this guy. You fool! You told the old man next door to come and fetch the salt. Well, he broke his leg on the way over, and now his son is asking for compensation. Seriously. That's sad. <laughs> She's scared of that? Huh. Huh, a civil dispute. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Who are they? <sighs> no one in particular, but it is a prime example of the many difficult mm. civil cases that I've had trouble handling before. That's kind of lame. Mm. So you mean you don't like handling disputes over petty matters? Not exactly. What I mean is that I don't like working with people who cannot let go of trivial grievances, especially of the kind you saw just now. They start with good intentions, but end up making a big fuss. Right. It's not long before those good intentions plunge into injury and accidents. <sighs> it's always a shame. That's a weird take in my opinion, but okay. It's my desire to solve problems for people. That's why I became a legal advisor. It just seems that I still can't fully comprehend the complicated minds of some people. Right. I understand what you mean. The human mind is probably both the most complicated and tragic of things. Sure. I suppose there is no need Very to discuss this any further. Very philosophical, Does anyone else want to try the door? Paimon. Don't look at me. I told you. I'm not taking a chance with that thing. Me, Paimon. Come on, Yelan. We're a team here. 
If you're not gonna try, then at least give us a convincing reason why. Okay, also fair. <sighs> In that case, let me be perfectly clear. I think what I said is still fair. I serve Ningguang, the Tianxuan of the Qixing. The scope of my work includes some of Li Rui's biggest secrets. The chances are, if I open this door, there can be no witnesses left alive. <laughs> is that a sufficient reason for you? End me, Yelan, please. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sounds, sounds impressive. <laughs> um, hey, Shinobu, uh, who's Ningguang? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, good one. She's someone who won't let you walk out of the chasm alive if she finds out that you're prying into her secrets. <laughs> Boss, you really do need to work on learning who's who in the world these days. Yep. Look, I knows what I needs to know. Oh, it's no. called being a free Oni. Oh, no. Oh, no, the cap I'm on say Galen works for Ningguang. You didn't understand that yet. <laughs> yes, which is precisely why I was trying to keep her secret. <laughs> we should avoid letting Yelan open this door. Open it! It's so spicy, please. What about you, Traveler? Would you like to try? I want Paimon to try still. Yeah, go for it, Traveler. Besides, you never know who could be behind that door. I do. Maybe it could even be Shell. Ether. I say give it a shot. Who knows? Maybe little dude is waiting for us on the other side. Find who we're looking for. Oh wow, what a crazy plot twist. It's our sibling. Ooh. Hmm, maybe. I'm always looking for someone. Ether, it's me. So, wait. What's Paimon looking at? Uh, are we not gonna see? Is this the cliffhanger, maybe? Uh, the abyss? Okay. Yeah, this is where our brother works. Never mind. Cutscene time? No. Yes. This is very weird between gameplay and cutscene. Is, is this what I feared? We're still in the domain, by the way. <laughs> What? The exit suddenly disappeared. Is it trying to trap me here? Escape from here. <laughs> what the heck? This is my EM Lumine with 738 EM. I don't have any other elements. Escape? Okay, is this like gonna slide me to the center every time I walk to the edge? Hop. Hop. What's this? Some kind of shield shape. But Investigate. Ah! <laughs> I'm through, baby. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> what the? Okay, this is gonna be great. We're gonna scare them from behind. This is gonna be funny. Hey, there you are! You sure had Paimon scared! Yeah, what do you want me to do? We couldn't open the door after you went in. Everyone was super worried about you. Are you okay? I'm okay. Did you find anything, Traveler? The Abyss. So, did you find the person we want to rescue inside? Not really, no. Judging by the look on your face, I'm guessing you saw something a little... unpleasant. Isn't that the theme so far for people opening the door? I did. Behind the door, I saw the darkness of the abyss that took my twin away. Huh? How could that be? It is, it's not that dark. It's like pretty joyful even. That dark blue with all the stars. Ah, uh, don't worry. Paimo will keep searching for him with you. Cheer up! Uh, stupid door, I'll smash you to pieces! Do it. Use burst. If Paimo wasn't feeling oh. so exhausted, she'd oh. help out too. She's feeling tired? Are we getting out? Hey, what is this? Nap time? What? Paimon is so weird, this quest. <sighs> so let me get this straight. Not only did we not find Xiao through that door, we saw all the things that we wish to avoid. Yeah, it's kind of nice, you know? We know what we don't want to see. I'm starting to have a very ominous feeling about this domain. Mm. It's constantly changing. Its changes seem to be targeted at us. And Xiao told us to leave. <gasps> Bad is what she means. I feel the same way. We need to watch our every step. There is definitely more to this place than meets the eye. I concur. We came here following the Conqueror of Demons, but we ended up only finding a strange door. Who told us to leave? The things we've encountered on the other side of that door are equally strange. It shows us whatever we fear the most. We're in a space that defies common logic. So to get out, we must go in. Philosophical, don't you think? <sighs> On top of that, I'm starting to feel tired after that experience. But I thought we'd established that getting tired doesn't happen down here. Mm -hmm. The phenomenon hasn't reached a lethal stage just yet. Otherwise, we would have starved to death without eating for so long. Okay. I'm starting to worry that we're being affected by the changes in this space. In order to avoid the sudden accumulation of hunger and fatigue, we should eat and rest regularly from now on. Sure. <sighs> Paimon suddenly feels exhausted. It's really well, you said this earlier. going through all this. Now that you mention it, I'm starting to feel tired too. 
No, 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 no. It's all just an illusion. Uh -huh. I will not let my mind play tricks on me. I like that. Raymond's whole body just feels so heavy now. Because you're an abyssal creature. Hmm. According to the current evidence, it seems our physical condition was suspended in this space before, mm -hmm. which granted us immunity to the effects of fatigue and hunger. Okay. And now it seems that mental fatigue is unavoidable. So what's the plan? We figured this out. We've been talking about it for five minutes. Come on. Though we have yet to locate the Conqueror of Demons, I suggest we go back and get some rest. Go back It'll where? It'll be difficult to rescue anyone if we're on the verge of collapse. We ourselves. fell through a hole. How are we getting back? She's right. Hey, Lavender Melon, you okay? I'm gonna carry you. That's kind of cute. After a persistent search, you find a shortcut that takes you back to the entrance. Of course. Of course. That is so lazy. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, yeah, I see the shortcut. It's a rock wall. Hey, Lavender Melon, Cow Yeeter. Bushy, you sure you can't find a way back to that door again? Oh, look at her. I've never. It's cool effect. Mm. Moo. About the door. Ah, perfect timing. I was just having a chat with Ushi about that. Really? You know what? I can handle those mean people behind the door throwing beans at me, but right. causing trouble for you? Yeah. Nah, -uh. that ain't gonna fly with this guy. That's cute, Ito. Thanks, Ushi. What? There's nothing we can do? Listen here, uh. Beefcake. You shouldn't give up so easily. Can't you have one last look for it? If you really can't find it, we'll just have to find another door. Sure. With any luck, one that connects to the outside world. Hmm? You feel me? I feel you. What do we do from here? Yep, that's the big question. Okay. Gotta be honest, I have a no idea. Sick. Uh, Ushi knows. Oh, come on, don't get mad at me. I'm just being real here. This is reverse roles. I did think about just using my own super strength to dig our way out. <laughs> the rocks here are even tougher than prison walls. They're fake. The rocks oh my didn't God. even budge Ushi charged him. It's pretty obvious this place is meant to keep us in here. It's a prison. The only thing I can oh do Oh my God, it's perfect is, uh, fit for Yanfei. Well, Take care of this exhausted little lavender melon. That's cute. Ushi. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're helping too, Ushi. Great. Cookie. It's hard to believe what we've encountered. About the door. Well, I suppose there's no use hiding it anymore now that everyone's seen it. What you all saw really was my biggest fear. Yeah, sure. I never want to become a shrine maiden. Who could tolerate such a boring life? Yeah, understandable. After these last few years with the Arataki gang, I suppose you could say I've seen it all. It's taken every skill in my arsenal <laughs> to constantly clean up the messes they make. Nice. Though the list of annoying things to deal with is practically endless, I am totally free in the Arataki gang. Nice. Strolling around the streets, roasting lavender melons with friends in the open country. Uh-huh. I know it sounds pretty silly. No, it doesn't. But that's the life that I want. I feel you. Don't laugh at me, okay? I won't. Otherwise, you might find yourself on the receiving end of a good beating. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Four-star nerd. It's hard to believe. You don't look very well. At least not like when we just arrived. What? Are you troubled by what you saw behind the door? Not really. Listen to me. It doesn't phase me the anymore. The most important thing is always the choices you have in front of you. Nice. Good words. Get some rest before you gather the courage to take your next step. Yeah. Once you've chosen the path to take, don't hesitate. You must believe in your decision. I always do. Cute. I like her speech. That's good. Hey, you besties. You haven't slept at all. Are you sure you're okay? This place seems even more perilous than we first thought. What's with you and standing in water? Why would you do this to yourself? This is awful. Having wet socks is the worst thing on planet Earth. Especially, look at this. Fur boots? Wet? That must be awful. Just saying. The, the noise when you take a step. <laughs> Yes, that's what I worry about. Don't worry about me. Staying focused under pressure for as long as it takes is my specialty. Now, if I'm not mistaken, looks like you've got some new ideas. Mm hmm. <laughs> How could he tell? I could tell by your nose. It's my job to keep tabs on people. Mm hmm. I figured as much. They're just preliminary ideas at this point, but I haven't completely thought them through yet. I'll tell you more once my ideas have taken shape. Just ramble about it with us, then we can maybe help. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. I also have some ideas of my own. I'll fill you in after I've confirmed some things. <laughs> Seems like a productive conversation. Not at all. They didn't say anything. They just said, yeah, I have ideas. I might share them later. <laughs> you think so? No, I really don't. As they say, two heads are always better than one. Make it three. Then we can talk. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, just By the face way, Traveler, guy. if you have a moment, oh. could you do me a favor? I'd like to discuss something with you. Okay. Please, come meet me over there. Sh sure, I think it's here. What is Thanks it, Thanks for coming to speak with me, Traveler. No problem. Why wasn't Yelan allowed in this conversation? I've been thinking about this place. Since we still don't know just what kind of danger we're up against, we can't afford to delay any longer. Mm -hmm. We have to find the Conqueror of Demons as soon as possible. Yeah, I agree. Don't you think it's a strange coincidence that as soon as you told us about the Conqueror of Demons, 
We heard his voice in that place. That was what I did on day one, yeah. It almost seems deliberate. As if something was trying to convince us that the Conqueror of Demons was there in order to lure us into the unknown. <gasps> You're right. Xiao had no idea what the f*** we were talking about. I have a theory, but I can't tell the others just yet. Mm. I don't want anyone to panic. Okay, good. Judging from the Conqueror of Demons' reactions, I think that he was somewhere else. Yeah, that's... But his voice and <laughs> yeah. image were projected to our location. Uh-huh. Is it possible that we've entered into a chaotic space? Yes, very chaotic, I must say. People always say I'm quite chaotic. I definitely make it chaotic. But we weren't in space, maybe. Oh, the Abyss is kind of space. Yes, what do you mean? We're seeing things in people that shouldn't be here. Even ghosts. <gasps> You're right. And we don't feel hungry because the state of our bodies is suspended. Mm -hmm. It's as if time itself has stopped for us. Mm -hmm. I've said this too. If that's true, it means we've entered into a place where normal logic doesn't apply. You've, al you've also said this. Nothing new so far. When you put it all together, everything points towards one possibility. Okay. This is a place where time and space are thrown into chaos. So when we saw him at the domain entrance, he didn't really go the same way as us. No. It's obvious. He teleported away in front of the portal. And yet, if it's truly chaotic, how did we find our friend's voice even when we had no idea where he was? It doesn't make any sense. You're right. Unless this space wanted us to hear it. Yeah, you've said this. I agree. Which brings me to my next point. I also have a theory about our encounter with the Conqueror of Demons earlier. I submit that we didn't actually see the Conqueror of Demons. Mm -hmm. He was somewhere else. But his status was transmitted to us through a, some kind of mind-bending spatial alteration. Yeah. Traveler, you said you saw the Abyss in that room, didn't you? Traveler, you saw the Abyss, didn't you, Traveler? <laughs> yes. At first glance, that door may seem like a prank. Mm -hmm. It shows you whatever you're afraid of. Who tell? But if it manages to lure you inside... It traps you. There's no way of knowing what might be in there. One minute, it's playing a joke to get you to lower your guard. The next, the danger is real. And it's trapped you. Yeah, but I got out. Is it because I'm not the one they wanted? This space is a powerful opponent that wants to use our minds against us. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to sit here and do nothing. Do you remember that small spatial rift next to the dissolving ground? Yeah, I do. It felt like spatial magic, but it seemed much more powerful than usual. Okay. When we saw that illusion of the Conqueror of Demons, it seemed like he wasn't expecting our spaces to intersect at all, and was even more surprised that we could hear and see him. Right. He's looking for us. Oh, there we have it. There we have it. That was the entire play. They made... Xiao scared because we are in some place. That's why he told us to get out of here. And he's now going to try to come and save us. And by trying to come and save us, he's going to put himself in danger. And he's the person they want in that weird door. I got it. I think that this space purposefully transmitted the Conqueror of Demons' voice to lure us into a trap. It's the other way around. But I also think it didn't count on that spatial rift happening. In other words, the fact that we saw and spoke with the Conqueror of Demons was never part of its plan. That's why we were interrupted? Okay, that would be fair. Yes. Also, I had a good look around after coming back. I have a feeling that these chaotic spaces are constantly intersecting with each other, meaning that anything is possible. Anything is possible. Wow, that's so wide. I think this gives us an opportunity. If the space creates phenomena meant to deceive us based on our imaginations, then we have to keep imagining, Traveler. I closed my eyes. If we try to stay calm and listen carefully, Maybe, just maybe, we'll hear the Conqueror of Demons' voice again. But won't that be an illusion again? <gasps> Can you feel that? No. Let me see. I think it's here. Blows open a hole in the wall. <laughs> Actually, for real. I imagine a path. Open sesame. And break. <laughs> she could have done a cool move, but she just said break and it disappeared. <sighs> I secretly learned Yelan's illusion-breaking method without her oh, knowing. Oh, never mind. <laughs> really didn't expect that to work. Well... Nice. The sound came from behind this illusion. Let's go in and take a look. Let's go tell the rest. That's what Yelan said we should do. It's probably tomorrow anyway. No. I want to tell Yelan I'm scared. Yelfe, don't walk in. Oh. Yo. She's following me. That's crazy. This is like Skyrim. Come here, Lydia. <laughs> well, I can't. I want it to be good and tell her, but I guess we can't. We try to stay calm and listen. We, we did. We did hear it, supposedly. Okay, well, we're doomed and Yelan's going to be pissed at us. Can you keep up with me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yanfei was lost. <laughs> okay, it looks like we can go two ways. This looks like a dead end, so we'll check it out first. Oh, actually, we can climb out. I'm gone. I'm gone, mofs. I'm actually doing it. Dude, if I vent to E, I can make it out. I'm doing it. Yahoo! Okay. Oh, what? How, what? 
Hello? Yeah, they stop being so weird and follow me, dude. We're almost out. Watch this. I imagine a million primo gems. I can't. There's a roof. <laughs> yeah, they just creepily tell. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> nah, there she goes again. Okay. Anyway, that led it's to nothing. It's getting clearer. Which one? This is the chasm. Uh huh. What did we go through here? What did what did go through here? If both just in that battle fought. What is he doing here? Okay, he's talking about another yash yash yash. Yeah, 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 there it is. Is that? Ugh, creepy. I don't like voices like that. What's funny is that Yanfei literally told us like, oh yeah, they're trying to bait us with this Shao shit. And now we're like, oh yeah, yeah, I agree. And now we're running into the trap. Open arm, aren't we? Isn't that literally what we're doing? Wow, the voice is getting clearer. Definitely not bait. Talk to Shao. What? Real Shao? The voice is much clearer now. We're close. Shao. Maybe I should say his name. This proves it's a bait and we should run. Get out of here. It's a special rift. Conquer of demons. Can you hear me? It's Yenfei. The Traveler and I are trying to find you. Shao, you there? Uh, traveler? Yes. Yenfei? Hey, bud. We're trapped. We're probably dead. And you're gonna be dead too if you help us. Sauron's eye looking ass. It worked. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. You don't sound it. We heard the sound of you fighting. What happened? Listen to me. It's chaotic here. We may not be in the same space, but sometimes the sound can get through, which means these separate spaces intersect from time to time. Everything is chaotic here. Yeah, Yanfei said as much. Find a way to get to us. <laughs> Don't do it! No. Yeah, exactly. The darkness that sullies my soul is harmful to mortals. Help, we're gonna die of starvation otherwise. <laughs> right now? We have more dangerous things to worry about uh -huh. than that. This space is using our urge to find you to lure us into traps. Yeah. Without you here with us, our search for you could very well lead us into danger. Please come. So, you're in danger too? Okay, what do you mean too? So you're also in danger. Yeah. <sighs> there was no need for you to search for me. Well, we're doing it anyway. Haha. <laughs> but we're worried about you. And earlier, the Traveler was tricked into entering a dangerous place. Very dangerous. It was abyssal. <sighs> <sighs> How do we meet? I don't know. Help. We're stuck. Conqueror of demons, can you find out where our voices are coming from? Find the spot where our voices are the clearest and try... something there. It might work. <laughs> That's complete garbage advice. I see. The spaces may intersect amidst the chaos. Yes, that's what she said. By try something, do you mean... I... yes, totally. Hurry! If we miss this chance, we might not get another one. I don't know what she means. Teleport or something. Hmm. Hmm. He's gone. Shall? Stand back! Hey. <laughs> we literally stood back. <sighs> Real Shao! What's up, homeboy? Can we help you, guy? He doesn't look too good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, wow. He really does look injured. He doesn't even bleed. He he bleeds chaos. Let's get him back to the camp. Yeah, we've got some <laughs> cooked lavender melon for you. It's gonna help. Oh, what is this? Wow, what a transition. Paimon's still dead. <sighs> <laughs> now we can avoid getting split up. Yeah, can indeed. Oh. No, I know you. Thank you? Why are we, thank you? Why are we thanking her? <laughs> Did she bring a snack? A lot's happened here, but this wasn't just for our own safety. You're injured. He can't just leave you alone. Uh-huh. It's just a flesh wound. I am fine. I shouldn't let myself be a burden to you. Okay, stop being so edgy. Here. Take a, take a, what do you call them? Lo, what are the little, the little stickers you put on wounds? They're cute. We have Disney themed ones. Or Shrek. <laughs> You're not a burden. Don't think that for one second. Mm -hmm. We need you. All of us. Mm -hmm. For our sake. Please, stay here. Please. Please. I told you, we're Disney. Please. Fine. As you wish. As I wish? Okay, I'm doing a pool. You're injured. Get some rest. Everything else can wait. Yeah. Epic. Wait until you get better. Don't worry about anything else. <sighs> All right. He really doesn't look that good. Shao's closed his eyes and seems to be resting. Could he be dreaming? This is quite astonishing. Is a Yaksha who never lowers his guard capable of having dreams? I don't know. No way home. Achievement. That's crazy, though. Hey, Ushi. Looks like our little lavender melon has fallen asleep, huh? <laughs> Do you think she's dreaming? Yes, of food. <laughs> of cow meat. Man, she looks wiped out. Kind of hard to see her like this. I mean, most of the time she never shuts up. <laughs> Aww. 
Poor thing. Relate. Man, that little dude looks done in too. Yep. <sighs> I'm kind of worried about him. I feel you. Moo, moo, moo. Oh, I sleep like this when I'm in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> I do slumber like a king. <laughs> Traveler, when did you get here? Oh, I no, just got here. Didn't hear anything. Wait, wait. No Paimon. It's real. No Paimon in the Paimon menu. I don't know why I'm excited about these little things. Hey, Cookie. You don't look well. You said this already. I guess things still haven't improved. Oh, we found Xiao. That's something. It's okay. You don't have to go into all the details. What do you want me to say? Sometimes I really envy the boss. Yeah, I feel you. Sometimes I also envy a simple mind. <laughs> yeah, we saw it already. Okay. Man, kind of crazy, huh? Hey, they're talking about their ideas. As expected, something strange is going on here. Really? <laughs> it's like we've been stuck in this cave for three days already. I fall through the floor. Oh, traveler? Hi, am I invited? Or is it secretive? I have secrets. Um, uh, can't think of anything. I don't have secrets. You're both here. Great. I want to talk to you. Amazing. Let's all talk. We'll put our heads together. See, that's what I meant. You, Yelan, and Yanfei share all the information. I also felt that other. the space was targeting us, but Yanfei managed to exploit its weakness. Uh huh. <laughs> Leave it to Yanfei to find a loophole. Yeah. Based on what just happened, we can now confirm our suspicions that space and time function chaotically here. Mm hmm. In addition, we must stay vigilant to avoid the traps set for us by this place. Sure. I think bringing Xiao here was a trap. Now that we've found the Conqueror of Demons, the next thing we need to do is find a way out. Okay. I went back to the Domain again just now, although I couldn't find a new route. It wasn't a completely fruitless trip. Because? My clan has practiced magic for generations, oh, and has created serious? some catalysts that only we know how to use. I love her even more! She comes from a magical clan! Hello, I always mention, where's your pointy hat? And then we're actually perfect. I recognized something like one of those catalysts in the domain. Oh. Unfortunately, it disappeared as soon as I approached it. Was it an illusion? This is this would link back to the same thing as that door showing things like memories. I think so, but it's hard to distinguish between reality and illusion here. Sure. I can't be sure. Fair. Also, I am the only one out of all of us who could know what it would look like. To me, that confirms that this place really is reading our minds. Exactly. Just like with that door, it's exactly. like it's alive, and testing us. Well? By reading our minds and showing us what we want, it creates the reality that we want to be true. Everything it does is either to get us to lower our guard, or to wear us down. Yeah, how is no one worried about like what Xiao was fighting though? If that's the case, it can only have one goal, to trap us here until we die. What else could it be? Why us though? We should prepare for the worst, but we mustn't give up. We mustn't give up. Agreed. I've always known there were secrets hidden in the chasm, but even the Qixing have never heard about anything like this. What do you mean? Have you been in touch with them with your cell phone? Yelon, when we first ran into you, you said you had something to do. Ooh. What were you referring to? Ooh, secrets. <sighs> <laughs> Tell us. I was looking for the truth behind the monster invasion from Conria. Okay. Conria? Why are we shocked? <sighs> Please keep everything I'm about to say to yourselves. Okay. No one else can know. Otherwise. Yeah, yeah, you'll have to end our lives. Oh, what a shame. Please don't end me, Ayla. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We got it. Yeah, yeah, we understand. 500 years ago, oh my God. a wave of dark beasts from Conria attacked the seven nations of Tevat. Mm -hmm. Naturally, Liyue was also affected. Of course. Under Rex Lapis's command, the Millilith fought hard to hold the front line near the chasm. Okay. But these were vicious beasts. And this was the most desperate battle Liu Ai had ever faced. We just closed the chasm on their asses. At a critical moment, someone distracted the monsters and led them away. Just when all hope seemed lost, uh, the tide turned. This has to be the Yaksha that Xiao was mentioning. The Liu Ai army eventually won the war, but there were many who never returned. And they trapped them in the chasm along with the Conrian or with the devil things. <laughs> You get, you, you get an idea of what I'm trying to guess, right? Two of my ancestors took part in that war, and the one who made it back went insane. Mm -hmm. Everything about it was strange. Yeah. The current generation of Qixing knows very little about these events, and very few came back from the chasm alive. Right. Finding out the truth has been a waiting game. And we're about to uncover more of it. The day the chasm was unsealed, I put in a request to be transferred here, so I could finally learn the truth of what happened back then. 
transferred here from where? But this place we've ended up in, and the possibilities we're facing, it's all far more terrifying than I'd imagined. Right. <sighs> hmm. We can't give up. Right now, our number one priority has to be getting out of here alive. Right. Chasm. Conria. What happened 500 years ago? I don't know. We're not gonna. This is like a super turbo endgame. This is so many teasers. The eventual Conria lore is gonna tell us everything that we don't know about our brother, about Dainsleif, about probably even more Kaya stuff. Everything related to all these ancestors of all the characters we've met. Like, Conria is definitely the last thing that's gonna happen. We're gonna time travel and go there, and that's gonna be the end of the game. It's gonna be there. And what did Xiao see back in that other space? Who was he fighting against? That's I think that must be the other Yaksha that led the people away. The, the, the bad guys. Can we really get out of here in one piece? Yes. That's the only one I definitely know, for sure. Yes. Talk to everyone. Again? Okay, so this must be the last part then. Hmm. Are you alright? You've suddenly gone quiet. It's not like you at all. Shh. We'll talk later. I'm just processing all the existing clues we have. <laughs> Maybe the key to our escape is hidden in some detail I've overlooked. I have to go over everything again. She's gonna pass out as well. All right. Well, I'm gonna go take a break. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I won't write down anything that you told us about. Uh, yeah, me neither. Not like it matters. Who would believe me anyway if I were to say that? No, I meant if you're going to analyze the facts, count me in. Oh, cute. Well, have fun, you two. Oh, Zhao's probably rested now, I assume. It's one out of four. Yeah. You don't look well. Still? We just had this convo already. Now, we, wait, I cheesed it. I had this convo as well. <laughs> well Traveler? Oh, I just got her a second ago, don't worry. Hey, bud, I'm not making a sound. No one has the heart to interrupt him. That's fair. He slid, though. Do you see that? Uh, that's it. It's done for today. Tomorrow's the final part. Very exciting. We are not getting any answers and just more and more questions all the time. Hey, everybody. Day three. Last bit of the story. Let's get back into it. Talk to Paimon. End of the line. Paimon. You still tired? Wait, where are we? They looked like sky for a second. Hey, we're still underground. Paimon, feeling any better? Yep, way better. Oh? Paimon just got a little fright because she's never seen a crazy place like this before. Huh. Who would have thought the best guide in all of Tibet could end up so out of their depth? <laughs> if they can fear our normal, I'll always be with you, Paimon. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, that is not a reaction like she thinks it's true. So anyway, Paimon just had the weirdest dream. There were cattle mooing constantly. Oh, that's so weird. Mm. Ooh, wow, you're still dreaming. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Aw, Hoshi, were you looking after Paimon? Of course the cow was. Mm. Nodding. Yanfei. Uh, oh. Okay, slowly walking up to shop. <sighs> Hmm. Hello. I knew. Hey, Xiao. How you feeling? See? How do you feel? I'm fine. Don't worry. You look healed, honestly. Cow rolling in. What is this awkward Karma silence? Karma I carry is dangerous to humans. Keep your distance. Oh my god. I have positive karma. Don't worry about it. Well, I have Adepti blood in me, so I wouldn't worry too much. True. Even so. What happened while Paimon was sleeping? How did Xiao get here? <laughs> oh, she's not even- why? What? She's not even surprised, but she's asking because she didn't know? With a little help, I was able to find my way here. Right. All thanks to Yanfei. Conqueror of Demons, could you tell us what happened before he joined us? No need to be so formal. Just call me Xiao. Oh, sure. <laughs> <sighs> it was a senseless battle. Okay. I came here looking for someone, but when I found them, they weren't anything like how I expected. Interesting. Madam Ping says that you usually base yourself at Wang Shuin to guard the main road through Dihua Marsh. It's unusual for you to go looking for someone yourself. Mm -hmm. Are they an adeptus? They're a Yaksha. Duh. Duh. I'm looking for a Yaksha called Bosatius. Oh, Bosatius. I remember Bosatius. See? I'm sure I've heard that name before. Bosatius? Is that one of the five Yakshas? Like you? Yeah, but you literally said, I'm looking for a Yaksha. What? Hello? I thought that you were the only one left. Aren't the other four gone from the world? Well, he thought so. You could say that, but Bosatius's body is the only one that was never found. This is Yelan's story. I tell you, she said that one of them was trapped, like one of them led the people away. It is this one. It has to be. Yakshas deal with God's remains all the time, and we become tainted by karma. Right. Over time, it inevitably drives us to madness. The last time I saw Bosatius, it was the day he lost his mind. He left. No one knew where he went, and I never heard from him again. Interesting. That is very different from what I was predicting so far. But Bosatius was the eldest of us. 
He once told us, as Yakshas, we will experience countless wars. Whether we live or die, we must promise to take care of each other and know each other's fate to the very end. Cool. Did he forget his promise because he lost his sanity? Maybe. It's possible, but I did not. I was gonna say, it's more about him taking care of the other dude now. I am the sole survivor. Exactly. So it is my duty to find out the fates of the others. Exactly. What made you come to the chasm? Did you hear something about Bosatius being here? Did you know that 500 years ago, uh? the beasts of Conria invaded uh? the chasm? Hey, I've heard a thing or two. No idea. No, I don't know. I don't know. No one told me about this. That war lasted a long time. Mm -hmm. It is said that in the midst of the battle, mm -hmm. a brave Yaksha was seen putting up a heroic fight. Really now? But no one knew the Yaksha's name. Bosatius. I know it. But... There were many more than five Yakshas in total, so there's no guarantee it was Bosatius. Right. Wow, but you must think it was probably him if you came here to investigate, right? He's like, no, it was me. I am by no means certain, and I didn't have any other clues except for this one. Okay. But Bosatius was proud. If he had taken part in that war, he would have announced his name. So at first, I thought the nameless Yaksha couldn't be him. Ooh, maybe he's maybe he's less ego-driven. You found Bosatius? <laughs> Mm. Wait, so it was Bosatius you were fighting with? Yes. Did he injure you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no way! Yes way, we heard all this, this was the weird echoing voice. The invasion of monsters from Conria, the battle in the chasm, and Yelon's ancestor. Hey, those- oh my god, she said it. I have a it. feeling that somehow, these are all connected. She said it out loud. She's gonna have to die. Yelon has to end her. Life is full of coincidences. Quinky dink. But this is too much of a coincidence. Quinky dink. Could this all be related to the fantastic compass mentioned in the will, too? Whoa, maybe. What will? What will? What compass? Oh, right. I came here because of a will. <laughs> Smith. <laughs> wow, I did the joke again. Hey, it's been two days. I'm allowed. Maybe it's not something you've come across much before. But both mortals and adepti sometimes write out their final wishes so somebody else will carry them out after they've passed. Hmm. It's known as a last will and testament. Mm -hmm. And this can be done at any time? Yes. This is kind of like what you're doing for Bosatius by taking care of him and like knowing his fate. Whoa, whoa. You want to write a will? Now? <sighs> hmm. It was no accident that you saw my illusion that day. This place used your desire to find me to create a trap that you would willingly walk into. Yeah, we got that far. Pure deception is easy to spot, but the truth laced with lies can be a fatal combination. What you heard were really things that I said. Mm -hmm. It made sure you heard my real voice to create panic. This one-way communication was the bait. Right. If we hadn't managed to get in touch through the spatial rift, we may well have lost someone by now. Mm -hmm. Rather than murdering in cold blood, this space seems more intent on consuming souls. Okay. How is this even possible? I don't know. Our opponent is very clever. It is not safe to stay here. But we're stuck here. That's the point. We don't know how to get out. We've been trying. Everyone, whether I accomplish what I came here to do or not, I must find a way to get you out safely. Yes, please. Yelan. Hmm. hmm. I rejoin to warn you that it's extremely dangerous here. If you stay here too long, this space may well devour you. Well, help us get out then. But how do you know? What happens if we get devoured? You might become a shadow of your former self. <gasps> Wandering the underground like a lost soul. No. Sounds like you saw them too. Galen, we're them? back. Hi. I've been back a while. I was listening to the conversation. Eavesdropping, huh? I've seen some strange things here too. Objects that shouldn't be here. Strange figures appearing, then vanishing. I don't think any of it is real. How about this dancing cow? Is it real? Where's Ito? It's Kuki. So they're just illusions? Yes. At first I had the same thought. Oh. But it's not that simple. There may come a day when these illusions become real and attack you. Okay. From what you were saying a moment ago, it sounds like you know a way out of here. Exactly. I can't say for sure. It's just a guess. Oh. As Yanfei said, this space is chaotic and unstable. Mm -hmm. But it has its weaknesses. Okay. By attacking the point where both spaces connect, I was able to create a rift and move from one to the other. But can we go through those rifts? So, if I use all the energy I have, I may be able to tear a passage out of this chaotic space. Okay, at the cost of your life. Really? So powerful attacks can affect the space itself? Mm hmm I had wondered if that was a possibility. Whoa, 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 whoa. But what do you mean by all the energy you have? I mean, it will take everything I've got. See? Wait a minute. When you said you were going to get us out safely, 
You mean you're gonna stay here? He hasn't finished business. You can't be serious. <laughs> you gotta be memeing. <laughs> I saw Bosatius underground. Mm -hmm. That's when I realized the horror of this place. Okay. A single blast can only create a very small opening to send you back to the outside world. I may need to continuously channel power in order to keep the tunnel open. Yeah. I know how to fight to the bitter end. I can do this. I believe in him, 100%. But if this takes all the energy you have, you'll... No way. Even if what you're saying is true, I can't agree to this. I have faith in him. I'm on neither. It's not much of an escape plan if we gotta leave someone behind. We should leave together. It's only a good or bad plan if there are other options to compare it to. Exactly. But that's not the situation we're in right now. I doubt you'd still be stuck here if anyone had a better idea. Mm-hmm. Agree. B but can you be certain that your plan will work? I have a better chance to work than sitting around here loafing, dying. I cannot. What is wrong with you? You can't bet your life on something if you don't even know it's gonna work! It's not worth it! It's the promise he made as a Yaksha. To conclude, I'm not agreeing to this plan. You don't have a choice. What if I told you? This is my last will. <laughs> oh no, you. <laughs> nice. That's your strategy, huh? No offense, but we have no guarantee this plan of yours will succeed. Or even that it's safe. What's the alternative, guys? You said it yourself. Yakshas pose a danger to humans. You really expect us to accept your self-righteous plan just because you say so? Yes. The battlefield is a treacherous place. Every opportunity you take, you put everything on the line for. If you fear sacrifice and failure, you can never be victorious. Mm -hmm. I've been in my fair share of treacherous battles, so I know full well that you never bring up extreme measures like this until the very, very end. We talk back to back, because we're cool. <laughs> huh. You say these things in the hope that we will understand and accept them, but if you don't even know that your self-sacrifice is going to pay off, all you're doing is hurting morale. Besides, if you were really so determined to end it all, you wouldn't have given us the opportunity to share our opinions. You think you're oh so cold and ruthless, but I'm not buying it. <laughs> what the heck? And anyway, losing one of us so the rest can escape? Some victory that is. He'd make it out. Yelon, don't be so harsh. She's right. <sighs> Point is, it's not time for drastic measures yet. It's possible there's a hidden passage leading to the exit that we just haven't discovered. Okay, yeah, more looking around. Let's go. Oh, Ito and Cookie, hey. Here's Cow. Moo. What if there isn't? Or if we don't find it? Mm-hmm. And in the end, I'm so weak that I don't have the strength left to sacrifice myself. What do you propose we do then? Then we all die together. As things stand, there's no difference between sacrificing you and trying to find another way out, in terms of the likelihood of success. If we can't say that one strategy is better than the other, certainly shouldn't be rushing into a risky course of action. Is Elon seriously getting annoyed? The atmosphere is so tense. What should I do? Did someone say a strong enough I strike can break us strike, out of, of this place? Yeah, that's right, I heard ya! <laughs> oh, let's go, Ito. No one's staying behind to let anyone else out, alright? Enough talk, it's time! For action! Okay, Ito. Come on, whatever you are! Let's see how long you manage to keep us trapped in here after I'm finished with you! He's gonna be knocked out, isn't he? Uh, easy now. Bonk it. Cutscene time. Have a taste of this! Yes! Yeah! Bah! <laughs> <laughs> Did we try this already? Oh. Okay, Ito. Uh, whew, okay, so I didn't tear the whole place down. <coughs> He is knocked out. But check it out. New path. Epic, man. <laughs> if you need a hero, I'm the man for the job. Yeah, okay. Well, he guessed it. He'll be fine. Should have seen this coming. <laughs> Why do you always have to do things like this? <laughs> I, I like his irrational stupidity sometimes. What happened to Ito? Did he pass out? Did you not see it? What? Hello? You literally gasped his name. Mm. Moo. Boss used up all his strength in one punch. Maybe that's the reason he managed to tear open a passage. Huge. Let me see if there's any way I can stabilize it. He did this because he heard us arguing, right? Yeah, probably. The thing with Boss is, he just can't stand conflict between teammates. <laughs> Even though he starts shit with Paimon and Yelon all the time. Whenever we get into an argument in the Arataki game, he always goes and does something shocking to calm everyone down. Legend. 
Today, he's done it again. He may not have known you for very long, but when he said he sees everyone as part of the same team, he truly means that. Cute. Mm. Mm. Another thing with bosses, he hates it when other people sacrifice themselves, but he always seems to end up doing it himself. Mm -hmm. That said, there's a slight distinction to be made with him. He wouldn't want to die. When he does things like this, he doesn't really think he's sacrificing himself because he genuinely believes that he's strong enough to defeat any obstacle he's facing. Shell likes that. Giant eagle alert! And wasn't he just doing the same thing Shell suggested? <laughs> <sighs> so stupid. I love it. Why didn't you try to stop him? Well, he never would have stopped. It's in his head. The boss is hardly open to persuasion. Of course. Besides, he always acts without thinking. There's no doubt that he really thought he was about to solve everything in one hit. Well, maybe he did. Uh, it's not just him either. The other guys in the Arataki gang are more or less the same. <laughs> That's why they need someone like me to clean up after them. Well, you're doing a great job. I couldn't stop him if I tried, so I might as well just let him do his thing. Of course. Besides, often his harebrained intuition is surprisingly on point. We might punch our way out of here yet. I believe it too. Uh, Ito, please tell Paimon you're okay. Lavender Melon. I'm sorry. <laughs> why? Don't be. You have nothing to apologize for. Both you and Yelan made some very good points. Yo, the Arataki gang is OP. Still, if this was an Arataki gang issue and you were one of our members, I have to say I'd side with Yelan on this one. Okay. The boss definitely wasn't sacrificing himself. He firmly believed that we'd be able to find a way out through the passage he opened up. And he's certainly not expecting to be left behind. Mm hmm Everyone's important. We have to support each other if we're going to get out of here. Yeah. Your survival is of huge importance to some people. No, to a whole lot of people. Okay. Very Disney. Let's move on. We get it. Everyone gets out alive. Shinobu! Everyone? Let's all do our best to try and find a way out. There's still a chance. I'm sure we can escape. I know we will. Leave the boss to me. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. Deal. <sighs> what is it? <sighs> Everyone, it seems this passage doesn't lead to the outside world. Hey. But deeper inside. I told you, to get out, we need to get in. Because reverse place chaos and stuff. What the? So Ito's efforts were in vain? No. No, it's still worth exploring. Hmm. I'll go and take a look first. Can I go too? Uh, I see. I'm with you. I'm also. Uh, what? What? <laughs> what? So far, I still haven't found the thing I came looking for. That magical device, remember? Yeah. If this domain has the power to project our imaginations or the things we're searching for into reality, uh huh. Well, maybe I can use that to my advantage to track it down. Okay. No wonder she keeps telling us to keep going. If it's a magical device, it must be super powerful. Well, I can't guarantee that, but it's worth a try. Oh, the compass is going to get us out of here. It makes sense, too, because it points us the right direction, right? I will find a way. Why you keep teleporting, man? Wait, uh, too late, Let he's gone. Let him go. But if you're planning on going into that domain, too, then come with me. Okay, let's go. After all, I'm just a lawyer. <laughs> we'll uh -huh. be safer if we team up. Sure. By the way, um, you and Xiao seem pretty close, huh? Yelan got a bit worked up just now, so I just wanted to apologize on her behalf. It's fine. I have to say, though, if Yelan hadn't <laughs> spoken out like she did, I'm not sure she would have gotten through to him. <laughs> Look at our faces. Also, self-sacrifice <laughs> is something Yelan feels strongly about. She tried to stop whoever it was. I understand. From what I know, she's lost comrades in the line of duty before, sure. and then was rescued herself. Right. Maybe being a survivor is what makes her so against seeing other people sacrifice themselves. Of course. Oh, wait, one second. I'll be right there. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! Hey. Congratulations, you're now trapped in fire. Dead. Seal of approval. <sighs> right, that's much safer. Since Ito can't fight right now, I've cast a spell to protect you guys. Where's the spell in reality? Thank you, Senpai. Be careful. Thank you, Senpai. We will. Same to you. All right, Traveler. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sit. Cute. I'm sitting with the gang. I'm a member of the Arataki gang. This is like a like a picture for the front of their album, honestly. Cookie. Don't worry. Ushi and I know how to take care of the boss. I believe it. I think I can speak for both of us in saying it's not our first rodeo. Nice. He's gonna move. Nice. Go on. Get out of here, and be careful. I will. Take good care of Ito, and stay safe. Oh, you just walk through. Interesting. Oh, I'm through. It's broken, this portal. Join me, traveler. <laughs> Join me. 
Realm of Snaring Illusions, a wondrous space hidden within the chasm's depths. It is a key location filled with many mysteries, and that, to me, looks like a massive compass. What's this? It looks so cool. What a weird and wonderful scene. Space-time has become totally chaotic. There it is. huge disc in the distance. Come on. Hold on. Is that the fantastic compass? It's gotta be. It's the same logos as what we saw. This is the WWW. These are different though. Maybe they're not lit. I don't see the Imogus. Is this the Imogus? I don't know. It's even bigger than a cooking pot. What? This is such stupid lines. It's even bigger than a cooking pot or all our heads combined. What? That's the best description you can come up with? I know. It's way, way bigger than that. I said the same. <sighs> Well, it seems our theory checked out. Mm -hmm. In my humble legal opinion, okay. that's almost certainly the magical device I've been looking for. It really showed up. What about your illegal opinion? But if this really is the fantastic compass... Yeah? It's so huge! How the heck am I gonna lug that back to my office? It has probably a button and becomes tiny. <clears throat> I mean, come on, Yanfei. Don't give up now. Let's investigate the area first. We're tiny people. <gasps> what? The, nah, they're they? fake. Fake. Are they treasure hoarders? Also, look, tiny compass. They look familiar. Oh, yeah. I bumped into these rapscallions a few rap days ago. Rapscallions. Are we fighting? I'm Yanfei. Bonk. Oh, hi. Yeah. Boom, boom, bam. Ooh, what's that? There's a smaller disc here. Judging yeah. from the appearance and design. Hmm. Boom. In all likelihood, this is the fantastic compass. How is Why there so is there many? a small version of the fantastic compass stuck in the ground? Because so, it's all illusions, Mo bro. Mo bro. Got him. No. I want to explore this area. It's so <sighs> cool. Easy peasy, just like last time. They were illusions. You know, when I ran into them before, I was working on a big commercial case. Uh-huh. The defendant hired them to attack me. Wow. Just to get back at me. That's ridiculous. Being a legal advisor sounds tough. Eh, happens all the time. Luckily, I'm well trained in martial arts. Yeah. So taking them down was a piece of cake. Martial arts like fireballs and stamps, am I right? These are the exact same guys as I met last time. Is... This space recreating scenes from my memory? I've been saying this is this has been the case since that room with the door. Maybe this is one of the ways our adversary intends to devour us. Yes. Unbelievable. How are we still arguing? This is clearly it. Oh, sussy barrels? What? You're gonna give me barrels I can blow up and they don't do anything? They were so sus. Not even a secret hidden chest that's super cool? I feel like I deserve the super cool epic secret chest. Oh. Oh! Whoa! Huh? A new entrance. Cool. Great. Well, I kind of want to explore this though. Note of unknown origin. We found the lore note. Okay, let's open it. You found this note in a mysterious space. Its content seems to be that of a journal. Letter one. I asked Master Boyang if I could borrow pen and paper to write home. But now that I have them, I have no clue what to write. You know what? I hope everyone back home is doing fine. And I miss my daughter. Okay, I see. I guess we can just go through this door now. Whoa. Oh, that was a thing already. Is this a tunnel? Whoa, uh, my god, my eyes. This is weird. It feels like it's connecting to another world. Or maybe another time. Can I, can I try? <laughs> <laughs> that was literally death. Okay, well, hey, you live, you learn. Oh, that's so bad. Yeet. Oh, that was great, wasn't it? Same result, jumping off or through. Alright, forward we go. New place. Can I walk past this, actually? No. Nope. What if I enter the portal from the back? Boop. <laughs> okay. Very well. I thought we might run into some other people here, but apparently not. Yanfei, what's that sound? Can you hear it? The Fatutus. Whose memory is this? It must be mine. Uh, watch out! <laughs> Just as I thought. Yelan's memory. <laughs> Yelan, you're here! Hey! Nod. This is a sick duo, actually. Don't be annoying. So tired. Amateurs, and still they dare to come after me. Yeah, on their illusions, bro. You've still got it. That voice just now. Remember how I said I'd seen some illusions myself? Yeah. Those were the same words I heard last time. The space seems to be reproducing that memory. I see. Now that you know, at least we're all on the same page. Fair. He said the word fantastic. Was he talking about the fantastic compass? Very likely. Yenfei, see that thing on the ground? 
It's the compass. Yeah, we tinkered with it. That's how we met up with you. I guess it's a miniature version of the fantastic compass in the distance. Mm -hmm. It has a close connection to the entire space. Yeah. Hmm, it looks somewhat familiar. Oh? Let me think. Oh? Yelan's ancestors, actually. Oh, here we go. No, we don't. Where's the other letters? Is Yelan the daughter? Is Yelan the daughter in the letter that we found earlier? Leave me alone. Rotate the needles on the fantastic compass to different points to change your time in this area and jump to different times. Your action in certain previous points in time may affect the next point in time you jump to. I see. Oh, here we go. Here's another letter. That's what we care about. We're for the spicy lore. Letter two. I'm writing this letter on behalf of Hulan. He hopes that his family is also well. If not for this pass, he would have wanted to go back, spend the lantern ride with them. I assume there's some kind of logic here that I'm missing out on? How about those barrels I blew up? Look at that. There's a chest here now. <laughs> or is that just my bonus loot for blowing up the barrels in the other world? I'm assuming I have to do actions in a certain place to then go to a different place, right? I'm not entirely sure. I'll try though. Hey, look at this. Definitely our actions in one world affect the other one, right? I think I didn't rotate it. Oh. This tree is blocking it. Don't tell me I have to like burn the tree when it's tiny. That would make sense, no? This little tree right here. Feel the beat. <laughs> I just killed it. <laughs> now we go to the other time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now there's no tree here at all. I should be able to rotate it all the way. I don't, I'm not, I'm still unsure which one is which, honestly. But I think I'm in the wrong <laughs> time. <laughs> Whoops. Here we go. There's no rocks and no tree here now. There we go. Now we've done something. Let go. Okay. Another new space. Are we gonna find someone else now? I see if where the note is already. This space follows the same rules. There must be another small fantastic compass somewhere around here. Sure. Osatius. There he is. I can't believe someone like you would end up as a lost soul underground. Shout. No enemies. Hold on. He is the enemy. Wait. Is the enemy hiding itself? Oh no. We should go help him. Stay back. Stay back. This is my fight. Do not come near me. Okay. Cutscene. Oh. Filthy monsters! So many people have died at your hands! I lured you here to this underground space because I found your weakness. Hiding and ambushing from the dark is Bosatius' signature tactic. Die here with me! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? How did a valiant warrior like you die here? Uh, yeah. Uh -oh. He's the master this hand. Is not going well for show. What do you no mean matter. this isn't going well? I haven't I gotten hit yet, ends. I'm owning. <sighs> yeah. What? I'm straight up owing, I don't understand. Look! Bosatius is showing signs of fatigue! He is? Bosatius! Marshal Vretris! Even your strength is finite! But your illusion is not as mighty as you! This is not you in all your glory! Why am I, I gasping? You know, I haven't gotten hit yet. If he saw what had become of the first Yaksha! Leave! I'll deal with the rest! We can't let the monsters get to the surface. <laughs> Everyone, remember, hold the line at 60 miles outside the chasm at all costs. Wow, that was so rough. <laughs> what do you mean? I dodged everything. Enough. Phantom, be gone. Yeah. Cleanses the world. <laughs> Osatius isn't though. You haven't even recovered from your injuries yet. Yes, he has. This is my purpose. Don't worry about me. Okay. So your invisible opponent was the legendary Bosatius, Marshal Vitris? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so excuse my stubbornness. Bosatius has been missing for centuries. This may have been the last time I will ever see him. Uh-huh. He was saying something about holding the line at all costs. Yeah, it was 500 years ago, Conria. He fought here, the nameless Yaksha from the legends. It was him. Yeah, we figured that out. But didn't you say he'd always announce his name? How could his name be lost to time? It was honorable. What happened? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe he forgot who he was. Could also be a thing. Because the karma he spoke of drove yep. him to madness? Osatius had already gone mad before he disappeared. There was no way of knowing if his memories were intact. Supposedly mad, but he was still protecting Liyue, though. He still took part in the Battle of the Chasm despite having gone mad? Yeah, not entirely mad, huh? We Yakshas are not a race that thrive in peacetime. It's likely that he was drawn by the scent of bloody war. Right. Or maybe he's not as mad as we think. Slaughter is what we do best. Maybe it's the only thing we know. That's not true, Xiao. Come on. 
This battle confirmed my suspicions. As we had speculated, this space reflects information from people's minds. I know. <laughs> I know. In other words, despite going mad, Bosatius came here. The illusion we saw just now is the impression he left behind. Right. This space recreated him as he was during the battle. The way he fought was so self-destructive. He couldn't possibly have survived. He fought the monsters. Bosatius' illusion said he'd discovered the monster's weakness and lured them underground. See? What kind of place could this be? Defeating Conria's monsters is no small feat, that's for sure. He sacrificed himself. He's literally doing what, what Zhao said that we wouldn't allow him to do. Guys, it could just be me, but... I think I'm suddenly feeling more tired than I was. Uh-oh. This space is really starting to affect us. Right. I believe Bosatius stayed here underground, but now he is gone, and only his illusion remains. Okay. If we don't leave, we may meet the same fate. Let's go then. Time to move on. Time, you I get it. You well, Bosatius. Goodbye. May you rest in peace. Another little letter. Origin number three. Letter three. This is the tenth day or more that we've been separated from Boyan, Bosatius, and the others. Well, that's what I say anyway. My friend here says that it's only been three days. I have no clue who is right or wrong, nor do I think that arguing serves any purpose at this point. I wish we could go home, but we cannot. I actually feel like it might be right. It might be Yelon's ancestors. Also, apparently spiders are invincible for eternity. We can rotate all the way back now, Is but we haven't had any change yet. Okay, well in that case, we can easily go back. One more, cool. But this is even a different space. This isn't back to where we came from, what the? All right. Looks like there's some information here. Shall we take a look? Of course. Okay, let's see. Oh, letter four. Look at that. I found all of them so far. What happens if you haven't found all of them yet? Letter four. We have no idea how long it's been since we came out with our comrades on patrol. But according to the information we've garnered, the beasts have completely lost all mobility. Indeed, most of them have disappeared. We are victorious, and what a grand victory it is. Save that we can never again return home. Hulan's daughter will turn two this year, and the... Oh, Qingming, I believe. Qingming's grand... No. Queen King, I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know. Grandmother is getting long in the tooth. The two of them miss their family sorely, though I myself have no relation. No one does not wish to return home. But for those of us who are here, we are the only kin we have now. This place is very mysterious indeed. I do not know if it is because we miss home or because this place was always like this. But when we're on patrol here, we can see sights that we could only see back home. I used to hear the old folks say that Liyue has had hundreds of years of history when it comes to mining in the mountains. But this doesn't look like any mine. Perhaps this might all be my imagination. What with missing my childhood home back in the mining settlement? What with missing my... I don't know, that phrasing is weird to me. How I wish I could go back there. Hmm. Hmm, Yelan? It looks like these were letters written by the Millilith soldiers who stayed here. Yeah, it's a fact. So, who's this Boyong they mentioned? Yelan? I'm looking at you. <sighs> Boyong you was one of my ancestors. Mm-hmm. The one who didn't make it back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had that read. You mean, Boy Young fought alongside Bosatius? That's why she knew his whole long, complicated name a second ago. I believe so. The Millilith soldiers were their brothers in arms. Mm-hmm. I guess now we have a pretty good idea of where everyone that went missing ended up. Yelon got her answers, and so did Yenfei so far. Yes. I'm completely clueless as to why we're here, though. So scary. What happened? Come on, let's not stay here. Yeah. I have a gut feeling that sooner or later we'll connect all the dots. Of course. And then, we'll finally know the truth. We've been connecting dots slowly. Still, who knows how this space is planning on revealing the answer to us. The last one. It looks nice here. It's like whole. It's not even, not even a chunk is broken off. Backwards once more. This looks really cool though. Super pretty. Last one. Looks like a starry night. Look at it. <laughs> uh. There's... Nothing here at all. Yeah, it looked like a plane of euthymia again, euthymia. What a creepy space. Hmm. It has the feel of the abyss. I was gonna mention it. It looks like what we saw initially. But where are the opponents? We are our own opponents. Oh my god, so deep. Hmm. Hmm. I think this is my memory. Your memory of what? The emptiness. That's the power of the abyss. Look at the stars, I told you. So... This place is created purely based on your memory? I'm afraid so, because I will always remember that the abyss took my twin away. <laughs> I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry, I know it's supposed to be deep, but it's just like so repetitive. And... Cutscene? Oh, more walking. The abyss, it's always bad news. Everyone's gone. I'm lost in my thoughts. 
The purpose of my journey is to find you. I will keep going it's and imagine a better dagger. thing or something. Okay, I have to get everyone out of here. I'll find a way to survive this, then find the lost treasure. What is going on? <gasps> ah! It's... Yeah. It's... I knew we'd see him eventually. Ether, wait! We spoke again! Ether, wait! Baited. We got baited, we're doomed. Catch up with him. No, I'm leaving. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. Very scenic. Very cool place. Oh, we can't go photo mode. That's creepy. That's a bit creepy. Hey, the compass. Thank you. Thank you, Ether. What? What's that shiny round thing on the ground? It's a tiny compass. Let's go. Here you go, Yanfei. The fantastic compass. Mm-hmm. It's probably a bait, honestly. In the other spaces, the fantastic compass was always partially buried in the ground. But this one is lying flat, mm -hmm. intact, as if somebody left it here. As if it was a trap. Oh, he was just a figment of your imagination? Yes, like everything here. So, he appeared as an illusion because you miss him so much, huh? I can sense that he's not here. But at least we found this. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yenfei, are you sure this is the fantastic compass you're looking for? How could she tell? I think so. There were no pictures in the will, but based on the description, it seems to check out. Right. Yelon, what is it? What is it? From the design and build, this fantastic compass looks extremely similar to the catalysts used by my clan. Okay. I just need to do this, and... Oh. <laughs> Someone's used this before. There may be a hidden message inside. Oh, you, you do you. I have no idea what you're doing. Let's get out of here and find somewhere safer. Sure. Feels pretty safe, but... Ah! Challenge right. completed! Here we'll be fine. Take a moment to catch your breath while I try to unlock the fantastic compass. What do you mean? What? We were trying to get out of here as quick as possible and I were like, yeah, okay, let's chill here. Alright. Let's go chat with everybody. Hey, Sha. Osatius was the leader of the five Yakshas under Rex Lapis's command. Yeah. He could control electro energy. Ah, I see Inazuma like Kuki. Unlike me, he was both a formidable warrior and a talented commander. <laughs> Unlike me. <sighs> uh, stop being so down to yourself, little edge boy. Come on now. Come on, big guy. Yanfei. Now that I've found the fantastic compass, my work here is done. Oh, okay, see ya. But if the bosatius we saw was just an illusion, will we really be able to take anything we find here back to the outside world? That's what I was wondering. I also thought it was just an illusion. I'm surprised we even got to take it out of that weird place we were in. Hey, Yelon. Within Yin and Yang, among the five regions, water, fire, wind, and thunder cycle like the seasons. Uh-huh. Grasp the seven heavens from the ground, open wide the three gates, all the world within reach. Mm-hmm. So you're just gonna bait me up here. I've never even paid much attention to this, but what is it supposed to be? It's the cubes. It's the unknown god. I always just kind of left, but is this something in canon, or is it really just an interface to get out of here quick? Because it, it looks like something, you know, they put effort into it, they could have just made a circle. What's it supposed to be? Well, well. This is not what I was expecting. It's actually a toy. <laughs> oh, seems like you've made a new discovery! Mm -hmm. Oh my, some person's nuts. Okay. There is a whole lot here, I'll read it, do a little recap, and I'll slowly scroll down if you want to take time to read it yourself so that you can do that as well but it would take about 10 minutes if i had to read everything and knowing me i'd mess up a million times as well there you go and i'll read it and do a quick recap okay so boyang wrote this this is the brother that died basically what he says is that the Millilith as well as the yaksha saved them and you know if it wasn't for them they would have fallen earlier here he describes the yaksha which is the guy i keep forgetting the name of the electro guy with four arms they fought alongside each other for about 10 days they kind of find out what the weaknesses of the conrian beasts they realize that bringing them close to the domain it suppresses their power the domain underground in the chasm in the fifth note they talk about having lost too many people. I'm not sure what the thing with the comp- well, like what the link is here to the compass, but basically the two brothers agree that with a few milliliths and the Aksha, they would go to the underground, to the bowels of the chasm with the fantastic compass to lure the beasts away. And they decide that they're willing to sacrifice themselves in exchange of like saving Liyue, basically. Note 6 says that it's, you know, the proof is in the, the pudding. Definitely the, the beasts do get weaker when they get closer to the domain. Note 7 says that only the guy writing this, so the uh, passed away brother, as well as the Yaksha, are the only survivors so far. The Yaksha is going insane slowly, but the brother is, for now anyway, staying kinda clear-headed. The Yaksha told him to leave, but 
as he said, they're trapped in there forever. It just keeps having little breaches come back, they fight them off every time. And then he's worried that they actually entered the belly of the beast, basically, and slowly are being devoured by it. It's a nice metaphor. Maybe it's not a metaphor, I don't know. In the ninth part, they actually managed to get rid of all the beasts, and the Yaksha supposedly has fallen, so he is the only one remaining, and I guess he's writing stuff. The compass talks about, like, slowly going insane and seeing his family, and in the tenth note, finally, he says, he kind of wishes his brother was the one to have to go through this, but in the end, as he is the elder, he's happy to think his younger brother survived. That's it. This information was left by a thaumaturge called Boyang, mm -hmm. who, as you know, is the missing ancestor that I came here to I covered all this. Uh, are you gonna explain what I just took like 15 minutes explaining? All this information, it was left by your ancestor? Yes. Hundreds of years ago, two of my ancestors, brothers, were gifted the fantastic compass by someone of great importance. What was the intent of it? They brought this device to the chasm and joined the war against the monsters of Conria. What's the point of it? They set out together, but only one of them made it back, minus his sanity. Right. Karma. Karma. Correct. <laughs> one possibility is that when they fought alongside Bosatius, they were tainted by his karma. Right. Neither of them had visions, so they wouldn't have been able to resist its effects for very long. Well, he tanked it for a while. From reading through this, it sounds like Boyong ended up staying here for good, too. Yeah. There's no way out? Wow. What do we do? Giving up already, Elon. Calm down. Uh, calm down. I'm in right place. Let me out. Oh, cutscene. Paimon, idiot. Or maybe savior. You found the exit. Frisbee it. It flows. What was that? I don't know. <gasps> oh. <laughs> the old video tear. I got it. Oh. I just had a thought. Give me a what? second. That I was just such a need to double weird check. Tiny cutscene. <laughs> cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Using the idol. I love it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was really cool. Traveler, I just realized something. Uh -huh. Okay, so on my way here, I was studying the will the whole time. Uh huh. But I didn't give any thought to the book that the will was inside of. Oh my God, Yanfei, you even you even said I hope I'm not missing any details. Last part. I don't know it verbatim, but I have read it before. Uh huh. The gist of the story goes like this. Cutscene. Millennia no. ago, an adeptus made a magic device to seal away evil monsters. Uh huh. Later, he made good friends with a human and gave the device to him to use as a catalyst. Okay. A few years later, great demons haunted the mountains. Uh huh. The mortal and the adeptus joined forces to exorcise them using the same device. Sounds pretty much like what we're witnessing. And that's not all. The book also says this. When mortal and adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. Okay. This contraption is proof that mortals and adepti may coexist, that there is unity between heaven and humanity. That's kind of really cool, but also there are so many theories about this not happening this way. It's cool though. I have both adepti and human lineage. Oh! Maybe my power can work. Oh my god! This is actually pretty exciting. Oh, it's doing it something. I mean, the effect only lasted an instant because I'm not strong enough. But still, <laughs> we must be on the right track. Okay. And look, something seems to have been activated inside the fantastic compass. Okay, right. By heaven's might oh. and the gods of the five regions, Yaksha and mortal together take this contraption in hand. <laughs> what? The, the gods of the five regions. That's their voices from when they made the seal. Bosatius and my ancestor. They sealed off this space at the top together. Uh huh. Hmm. Hmm. I see. It makes sense now. What if we undo the seal? Is not like hell gonna break loose? Hold on. That huge crystal I saw in the bottom of the chasm. Yeah, I remember when a crystal hit the ruined serpent. There seemed to be an opposing force. Was it that opposing force that delayed the awakening of the space that has now swallowed us? Or did the impact weaken the entrance on the ground? I, I don't know. I'm guessing it weakened the entrance, but it wasn't really an entrance. It just accidentally broke us through. Also, we haven't seen any abyss monsters in here. Could this all be connected? Everyone, let's go back and meet up with Ito and Shinobu. I have a suggestion to make. I have a suggestion. I can barely move anymore. <laughs> oh, why can't we get out of here? I might just want to die. Mm. I wants to stay with you. You're sus. You're weird. 
this quest. Paimon, just hang in there, okay? Trust me, there's still hope. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, nice. Nice good zoom out. At the tunnel's end, light! Go back and meet up with the other ones left behind. Besties. Hey, besties. A lot of stuff happened, Kuki. Shinobu, Oof. Ito, we're back! Hello. How's Ito doing? He must be exhausted, because he still hasn't woken up yet. But he's not in any serious danger, so don't worry. Well, he saved us. What about you guys? You found something, didn't you? <laughs> it's written on your faces. But whatever it is, it's bad news, isn't it? I don't think so. Um... No. We found the fantastic compass. The previous owner left a message inside, and from the looks of it, there really is no way out of this space after all. We started finding an exit. It seems like the previous owner was stuck here forever, too. We're out, we're out, don't worry about it. Shoot. Shoot. This isn't over yet. Listen to me. Just now, I tried channeling my power into the fantastic compass, and it responded. Yeah. And all that did was activate the records from when the seal was created. Why are you so down? Be optimistic. Right, but the issue wasn't with the compass. It was with yes. the method. Yes, Yanfei. Remember what the book says? When mortal and adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. Shake the earth. Only Break when the mortal rocks. and an adeptus combine their powers can the fantastic compass be fully activated. I'm not immortal, I can't do it. I'm a mix of human and adeptus. So the fact that the fantastic compass responded to me shows that the system is still functional. Uh-huh. Lucky for us, we also happen to have a full adeptus and a human with training in the magic arts. <laughs> I love this. Put your differences aside. Nerds, work together. Let's go. Interesting. So that's what was going through your head. Shao and Yelan need to cooperate? So an Adeptus and a human need to channel their power at the same time? Yes. Yes. If my guess is correct, then when both of you put your full power into the Fantastic Compass, we should be able to completely reactivate oh, it. Oh, God. Maybe even reverse it. Yeah, that's it. Then, then the Conria War starts again. I'm just joking, of course. In that note, it said that they dealt with all the monsters and all the portals, so it should be okay. It should. Last time, it was used to seal the intersection between this place and the chasm. If we can reverse it, mm -hmm. then we're home free. Maybe. Awesome. So there's still hope? Yes. You bet. You bet. Uh, your idea seems reasonable. Right. Okay. Well, let's all take a quick break. We'll give this thing a try once we're ready. I'm pretty ready. Don't make me wait a day. Ooh, after everyone's had a rest. Nice. Oh boy. I'm so nervous. Yeah, I'm, I can feel the nervousness. Don't be afraid. It's going to work. Yelan, Xiao, how are we looking? I'm all set. Yeah, so am I. I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, but Yenfei, there's one thing you might need to mentally prepare yourself for. Oh? Hmm? I'm afraid you probably won't be able to take the fantastic compass out of here. From what I can tell, Everything within this domain is the result of disordered space-time and memories. Right, we already established that, though. We all came here for different purposes. And everything that's happened here has been in response to our own imaginations and conjecture. Mm-hmm. Terrifying, but also a miracle. Sure. This space, well, it's more than just a space. Whether there's some kind of higher power at work here, I don't know. But the whole time, it's been reading our minds and responding to us in the form of illusions. Okay. Also, according to the history of the chasm, this place must have existed for a very long time. What could have created it? Yeah, sure, and Connery and whatever. I remember a giant snake just outside this space. Oh, that. Yeah, I was there too. I know, you shot it. Huh? Wait a second. It was you that shot that arrow? Well, it took us so long to figure that out. Crazy. Who else did you think it was? Yeah, I don't know. When a crystal attacked the giant snake, does that have anything to do with why the ground split open? That snake is probably a remnant of Conrion's civilization, and crystals are highly effective against it. Oh. Maybe there was some sort of opposing reaction. That's big those lore. Two forces. Those crystals come from that paradise place. I forget the name of every time as well. There really was a big separation between humans and gods, huh? <sighs> If so, I'm extremely sorry, everyone. It looks like I might be the one responsible for all of this. Well, we figured out a bunch of lore, and we're getting out of here. No, no! You're just trying to help us and solve the problem! You're definitely not to blame for what happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you say so. Don't be so sad, come on. You could almost liken this bizarre space to a living being that throws all kinds of hallucinations at us to deceive us. Yeah. Everyone we've seen here, and all the paths we've walked, it all ceased to exist 500 years ago. Spicy. Additionally, 
Most of the things here are static. So if we really do manage to escape, then once time starts moving normally again, the fantastic compass will likely disappear. Yes, we've established this. That's actually what I think too. That's precisely why it's such a miracle that we even found the fantastic compass to begin it's with. It's not a miracle, it's all based on imagination, come on. This whole thing feels like we're breaking free from our shackles using a spear that by rights should not exist. Right. This is a long shot, but it may be our last chance. So, whose wish was it that summoned this device? Perhaps it was all of us. Wow, that's so Disney. <laughs> Help. Perhaps it was. But maybe there's another reason. Your incredibly strong commitment oh, to Oh yeah, bring back my brother in the mix again. It's not repetitive enough. It's a shame that we couldn't find your family. But if they were here, <sighs> I'm sure they'd want nothing more than to see you being rescued from this place. It's the least interesting... It's honestly the least interesting red line in the entire story. I gotta say, it does intrigue me. The way we all ended up here together. Yeah, it must be a Quinky Dink. Say it again. We haven't heard Quinky Dink in a while. This is fate. Then let's grab it in our hands and turn it around. Yes. Leave the boss to Ushi and me. We're ready. Let's go. Cutscene. Traveler, take care of Paimon. Yenfei, you might need to come closer to me when the time take comes. Take care of Paimon? Paimon can take care of herself. Stupid floating lavender melon looking ass. Sure. Sure. All right. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> Here we go. It's cutscene time. Yeah, 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 that's right. Stars align. Bestow your light. Evil purged by thunder's might. Oh, she's rhyming Spirit too. Spirit curbed. Numa surge. By dictum divine. Heed these words. Oh, Do as so cool. I command. <laughs> of course it lit up. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Fantastic compass is an amplifier. Yes. Maintain this energy level, and we may stand a chance. <laughs> I will maintain the energy flow. Understood. Everyone, I wish to back. cry. I shall hold the line by sealing the surface. As Yanxia's, this is we cool. Fight for this world. General Alatus, falling in. This is really cool. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. We're being lifted, but where to? How is there no roof anymore? Oh my god, we're going through space-time. That's what's happening. There's ghosts. Fortunately, Ito's knocked out. Are these Conrian demons? Actually, they probably are. You know what? They probably actually are. Oh, shit. If she wasn't cool enough yet. The one-handed tech. This Bongos were dying. Dangerous, yet you insist on going. I have guarded this place for several hundred years. Only to seek the nameless Yaksha do I request your approval. <laughs> Whoa! This is so cool. Go Blade! He's burst. Why am I Geolumi? Ew. Oh my. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I, I wish I could help. I can't do anything. I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs. Careful, the darkness is catching up! It's caught up, we're dead. Oh, no, it's fine. Second wind. <laughs> I see the light! The light at the end of the tunnel! Can someone else do something? <laughs> He's gonna go again. Hi oh, yeah, of course it's gonna go. Oh. <laughs> what? Nah, who's gonna save him? Someone's saving him. I'm tearing up, you can probably hear it.
Boggles! It's gotta be. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> of course. There it goes. <laughs> Holy shit. I need some time. Everyone rests? I need rest from that. I thought you were gonna get left behind. I'm so glad you're okay. Holy shit. My god. Ah, yeah, I love it. I know what you were thinking, but... But what? Never mind. I know I can't talk you out of a mindset that's been built up over a lifetime. Maybe you should just say thanks, you know? I don't think we were ever going to reach an agreement over the final strategy. There you go. But in the end, it was thanks to you that we managed to escape. Yeah. So, thank you for saving us all. And thanks, Bongles. Maybe they strat. Maybe that was the strat, huh? That was the scene where we saw him teleport. They discussed it. He's mm. <laughs> so emotionless, man. No, I could not have done this on my strength alone. And thanks to everybody. Don't mention it. And then it's gonna mention Ito. Thanks for breaking through the wall. Thank you, Yanfei, for your big brain. It looks like everyone got out unscathed, but you all look pretty exhausted. Yeah. Rest up. There's no hurry to move on from here. Fact. As for me, I'm gonna check the area for any unusual activity. Get some rest. This girl is crazy. I love her, but she's crazy. She's good. Paimon didn't even get to say thank you. Yeah, neither did I. <sighs> Maybe Aelon really doesn't believe she made a contribution. Oh, she did. It seems like she's convinced Xiao saved us all, including her, and she doesn't know what to say to that. Mm hmm And since it's not easy to persuade Xiao of anything, Maybe Aelon's just given up trying to talk to him. Sure. Xiao, she's criticizing you! <laughs> what? Okay, I'm sorry, but don't his fingers look incredibly weird here? What's going on? I am not! <laughs> yeah, what the hell? You speak only the truth. I have no quarrel with that. What? I will keep your words in mind. Wow, seems like you got through to him. Really? Well, that's great. I count that as quite an achievement. Yeah, I really like seeing Xiao like this. A lot. It was a perilous situation we were faced with underground, and it took every single one of us for any of us to make it out alive. Yeah. I feel lucky that we didn't lose anyone along the way. Sure. Hey, so, Bolt Checker still hasn't woken up yet. Surely he's not gonna stay asleep forever. I doubt it, and when Is he's it? gonna wake up, you're gonna regret saying this. Let's go check on him. Sure. <laughs> there he is. I slept like a rock. Oh, good times. Huh? Whoa, what you doing? What's going on? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, nothing. I mean, can't you see the sky? Are you in any pain? Uh, moo moo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The head? What about it? Is there any brain damage from the impact? What is... What? It, what? I have brain damage from being in the same place as Paimon for like three days. You need to tell us if you're not feeling well. You are Right to begin with, so if we add brain damage to the equation, you're so annoying. Oh, brother, what the heck are you guys talking about? I'm fine. I had an epic power nap, and now I feel like a million more. Nice, only a million though, huh? I feel like I'm forgetting something though. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. wait, weren't we underground? Yeah, how did we get back up here? You saved us. It's a long story, we'll fill you in later. Yeah, I come, I'm lazy, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Ito. We're indebted to you, Shinobu, and Ushi. We couldn't have escaped this predicament without your help. And they couldn't have without us. You're literally saying it's thanks to everyone. No one's indebted to anyone. I'm the reason you all got caught up in this. Please accept my apologies, and let me find some way to compensate you for the trouble. Oh, he would have gone to real jail otherwise. Now he went to fun jail. Ah, crazy talk. You helped us first. Of course we're going to return the favor. Exactly. Hey, if it weren't for you, we'd still be in a Liyue jail cell right now. What'd I say? That's not quite correct. You'd be in jail, not me. <laughs> okay, fine. Mm. Moo. <laughs> Good point. Well, okay then. How about this? To celebrate our newfound friendships, how about you let me take you to Lira Harbor for some nice. sightseeing and a proper meal? Sounds good. I like the sound of that. Mm -hmm. Now that you mention it, whew, I am famished. Oh, I can barely walk here. I'm hungry too, Senpai. Why don't we head straight over? Let's go, Senpai. Paimon too! Paimon wants to come too! Paimon, we have other things to do. Uh, uh, fine! Let's 
go say bye to Chow, I guess. All right, well, He's gonna teleport I promise out. I'll take good care of your friends from Inazuma. Uh-huh. Take it easy, okay? Sure. What we just went through was a lot. Yeah, it's been tough on everyone. Have fun, you guys. Oh, wait. Yaelon left already. I was gonna treat her to some tea. But I'll take this to mean we're square. <laughs> sure. Hmm? Oh, yeah? Is that right? Okay, I'll let him know. Why does he understand Pokemon and we don't? What is it? Traveler, flying lavender melon, Ushi has a couple <laughs> words he'd like you to pass on for him. <laughs> what is it? What? Well, I want to hear this. Yeah, so do I. Me too. Count me in. Either translates what Ushi said for everyone. Good idea! Let's Stop! Ta what is it? I never would have guessed that Ushi was so gentle and thoughtful. Never judge a bull by its cover, huh? <laughs> That's a pretty good one, honestly. Happy Lumine. Happy Lumine, happy me. Happy meal. Nice, another banger from Nasio. <sighs> Sometimes the profoundest truths can also be the simplest. I think Ushi's words may well come in handy. Why can't we hear it? You betcha! Just leave it to us! What is it? Alright, Ito. Shinobu? Ushi? Let's go. Have fun. Oh yeah! Grub time! Grub time! Move. See you next time. Bye-bye. <sighs> Hey, Sha. Finished taking care of business? Let's get down to... yeah. Oh, there wasn't any business. We were just saying goodbye to our friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're still here. <laughs> hey. I saw the two Inazumans leave with Yenfei, heading towards Liyue Harbor. Yeah, they're getting a snack. Aren't you going with them? We have business to take care of. We still had some stuff we wanted to say to Xiao. Hmm. I figured as much. How about you? I've checked the area. Nothing strikes me as out of the ordinary. Looks like this chapter has come to a close. Nice. Now, I just need to take care of the confidentiality issues. <laughs> Let's hope our friends from overseas can keep their mouths shut. For their own sakes. Uh, no one would believe them anyway if they said anything, so don't worry about that. Uh, we got it, we got it! We'll make sure they don't say anything! <laughs> Please don't hurt them. Her fighting was so cool. Oh. Oh, we've got a mean streak, Yelon. You figured me out, huh? <laughs> All right, I'll quit pulling your leg. Yeah, as if you didn't appreciate me. Come on now. Everyone really rose to the occasion this time. I won't ever forget what we went through. Oh, me neither. Where could that strange space have come from? And how has it existed down there undetected for so many years? Well, who would, who would go there? I have to investigate this further. I have a feeling that whatever lies behind all this runs deep. Maybe so deep that no one can be allowed to know. Mm hmm Also, I think someone helped us out at the last minute. They did a good deed, of course, mm -hmm. but somehow I couldn't tell anything about them. It must have been someone of great importance. Yeah, you wouldn't know. <sighs> <laughs> anyway, these questions will have to wait for another time. Yep. I have some follow-up work to do and reports to make. Sure. So it's back to Liyue Harbor for me. Mm hmm See you when I see you. Take care. You knew I was waiting for you? Yeah, it was obvious, dude. I could see it from your left ear. Honestly, you would have teleported away a long time ago if you didn't have anything to say. Really? Yeah. There's somewhere I want to go. Okay. If you have the time, you can join me. Sure. Where is it? A place that has to do with the Yakshas. Okay, gladly. Layers of fear. Whoa, the reference. Go to the place Xiao mentioned. He didn't mention anything. Xiao is busy completing the quest here after Trail of Purposes. Are you joking me? Oh, of course you would be. <laughs> a random, random world quest in between. Why are you here? Uh, I was doing a world quest and then I forgot about it. I never finished this. The Star Snatcher. I remember you. So Star Snatcher wanted to fix the Temple of Purvises. Oh, I, I can leave now. This world quest will never be finished. Goodbye. This is the same place he was at after the Lantern Ride this year. The temple up ahead was built to remember Purvases. I know. <laughs> I happen to know. Maybe I came here because I had a realization. Okay. You mean back when we were underground? What'd you realize? It's hard to put into words. Seeing Bosatius gave me the false impression that I'd traveled back into the past. Right. You could dress up the Yaksha's life and call us valiant warriors, veterans of war. But the truth is, we are slaughterers and nothing more. Hmm. For Bosatius, perhaps dying in the heat of a great battle was no tragedy. Right. Perhaps the same is true for me. After living so long, to die in the act of saving others would not have been a terrible thing. I agree that it wouldn't have been a terrible thing, but living on is better. So maybe these thoughts are my own form of insanity. Definitely. 
Hey, don't say that. That's true. We got something to tell you, though. Oh, yeah. Ushi wanted oh. us to tell you. It's very important. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Really? <laughs> Ushi said he has the power to exercise demons, so people use him to fend them off. But after he met Ito, he's never left his side. Right. He also said that he doesn't have any grand philosophies. He just thinks we should spend our lives around the people who make us happiest. <laughs> what a cute cow. Maybe there aren't so many rules about how we should or shouldn't live our lives in this world after all. So, he hopes you can come to understand that even though the power of a yaksha may be harmful to other people, <laughs> it doesn't mean you shouldn't hang out with them. There will always be someone willing to be by your side. Yep, like people with visions. They have more resistance against your power, right? And, and... <laughs> well, uh, anyway, there's lots of people out there who really care about you. Yeah. <sighs> Suddenly you sound a lot like Bosatius and the others. Of course. They used to talk about how they hoped to live a mortal's life once the world was at peace. I think... I was the only one who didn't think that way. Right. The Bosatius recorded in the Fantastic Compass had lost his sanity. He addressed the people around him as a lattice. Minogius and others. Right, right, right. These are the names of the five Yakshas. Figured. I am a lattice. Yeah. And Minogius is General Capesis. Right. Uh, a lot of names. The others are Bonanus, or General Chisapis, <laughs> and Indarius, or General Musatis. <laughs> I'm help. I heard that people call the five of us Yakshas, the Guardian Adepti. <laughs> yeah. Osatius and Yelon's ancestors stayed underground to the end. Right. So that space must have read their minds in their last moments as they approached death. Yelon was right in everything she said. Both of our proposals had their drawbacks, and both were sensible suggestions. But the power of that space was far beyond all of us. Right. I couldn't have done all I did without everyone's help. Even in the final moments, it took every bit of my power to break free from that place. Yeah. Well, Hyman still thinks you were amazing. Sure. Yenfei and Yelon are correct. I always prepare for the worst case scenario. I kind of do that too, though. This deeply rooted in me. Even so, it was the most optimistic solution I could think of. Look at that Sealy. I love it. It's a scenic Sealy. If Rex Lapis hadn't saved me in that moment, I don't think I would have been able to escape. Of course. So it was Bongles. Of course it was. In the end, I still had to burden another. Come on, don't be like this. It took him no effort whatsoever. He literally went there, dragged you up with his pinky, and then walked away. Uh-huh. You've known Zhang Li, uh, Rex Lapis, for uh -huh. such a long time. And you've helped him before. Yeah. So he helped you back. Agreed. What's the big deal? Supporting each other is how people survive. Perhaps. No, it is. In the moment that we escaped from that space, I could sense what was left of Bosatius's memory. If I had to say what I gained from this trip, I think that would be it. I think I felt it too. It's good that one more person will remember him. Yeah. Another cutscene. Let's see it. Minogius. Mm, Here he is. Where have you been? <sighs> Brother Yakshai, you're confused again. It's very I've quiet. I've you countless times. I am Boyang, a thaumaturge who fought with you in the chasm. Boyang? <laughs> Boyang? Boyang. You are Boyang, but who am I? <laughs> Believe me, I want to know as much as you do. Here we are, the two who agreed to stay here together, and I can't even call you by your name. It's a shame. Yeah. Stay here? No. No, you have to leave. <laughs> Nonsense, Brother Yaksha. We're down here for good now. Don't you remember? It's too late to have regrets. The seal can't be broken. A seal. Yet it did. Ah, oh, yes. I'm a Yaksha who came here to fight. Brother, brother, are you okay? <laughs> Look at the state of me. I don't think I've got long now. <laughs> We're Damn. the only two left. Don't go dying on me. Yeah. <sighs> you know. Today I saw my family down here. Clearest day. What do you think? Am I losing my mind now too? Yep. 
Hmm. Boyong, do you want to go home? Oh. I made my decision to leave Zhong Zhao up on the surface. I obviously... <sighs> of course I want to go home. I must have... family too. You mean brothers and sisters? I'm sure you do. Brothers and sisters. <laughs> yes, but who am I? And where is my family? I'm... Brother! What's wrong? Hang in there. It's just you and me, don't... No. Died before me. Alatus, is that you? <laughs> Who's Alatus? Your memory's going again. <coughs> I'm sorry. You all have to see me in this state. Brother! Brother! Look, there's someone over there. Who are they? They're... They're my... No. My... <laughs> My brothers and sisters have come for me, boy. You're, you're awake. At least, at least tell me your name. Brother, brother Bosatius. <laughs> hey, Bosatius. Bosatius. I. I am Bosatius. And my destiny is so cool. to make the ultimate sacrifice. Damn. I said so much today, but I don't need to hold back as much when I talk to you. Cute. That's pretty badass, man. Have you ever had a moment where you felt like you were aware of your destiny, the potential of life, the approach of death, whatever it might have been? No idea. By now, I have accepted that destiny is the one disaster that the Yaksha know most keenly of all. We are destined to misery, and yet, we have no fear. Right. How? You sure you're okay with telling me all this? It matters not. Rex Lapis had said that you are a witness. It is right that the events of the world are relayed to you. <laughs> that has way more deep, deeper meaning. Bonanis, Monogius, and Indarius all perished. Right. And only Bosatius' fate was unknown. This has always stung my heart like a thorn. That is why I went to the chasm, despite being fully aware of the danger. Uh huh. Now that I know what happened in the chasm back then, I can finally put this matter to rest. Right. Before we left that place, I picked up a stone. I thought if I could take it out with me, I would place it in the temple to Pervases in memory of Bosatius. Ah. Fortunately, the stone did not survive. Figured. Maybe we have something. Pervases died in the Archon War thousands of years ago. He was younger than us, and Bosatius was very sad when he passed. Right. Too many Yakshas have become casualties of battle. We are like a flock of birds, scattered to the four corners of the world. And in the end, as Bonanis said, it's rare for a Yaksha to find repose for their soul. Mm -hmm. Bosatius, Boyan, and all those soldiers. They were all heroes. Heroes? Yeah. I like that word. <laughs> Maybe the world will never be free of disaster. It won't. But it there really is won't. good in the world, too. Yeah. Even the darkest hearts have room for those they cherish. True. I accept your advice. From this day on, heroes will always look out for each other. Nice. Whoa. Interlude Chapter Act 2 complete. Perilous Trail of Heart and Soul. I don't care. I want a new gameplay. Oh my god. Does this have something to do with it? Hey bud, you observe Xiao. The world is silent, no one speaks. Xiao says nothing more. Complex emotions run across his face as he looks at the temple to purposes. Sadness, disappointment, relief. They're all there, yet are only a small part of a far larger whole. His expression is akin to that of a person who has been out in the blizzard for too long and seen far too much of it before finally gaining a place of respite from the battering snow. Damn, okay, let's do this little thing. I, I think it's a conclusion to what we just did. Might as well. It's been quite a trip, huh? Let's go down to Leva Harbor for a walk to clear our heads. You want to talk to someone about this? Heh. <laughs> the one and only. The one and only. He really is over there. Of course, he's always here. 
Hey, of course it's us. Came to ask you about something. Would you mind waiting for a moment? No, we don't have time. Come on, hurry up. They often come here to look for you. I know. Now he is Rex Lapis, man, you understand. He gifted us Fan for listening to his story about needing archaic stones. We still need to talk to Bongles. Get out of here. Strongly, were you at the chasm? You saved us too, didn't you? Thank you. She also said that he wouldn't have been able to escape without your help. <laughs> Even he has learned to open up to others. Cute. What were you doing at the chasm? Hmm? Was he at the chasm? How curious. I must admit, this is the first time I'm hearing of such a thing. You're so annoying. What would I play dumb? Hmm, this fan is of high quality indeed. <laughs> uh, what a beast. It's nice to travel. Yeah. Do you miss the past? Not at all. I'm immortal now. And being mortal means living in the present. <laughs> I fucking love this guy. Uh, that's wonderful. I got the fan. What is it? Is it a teapot item? I guess it is, huh? Okay, well, that was a lot, wasn't it? That was a whole lot. Hey everybody, how's it going? What an incredibly long but super cool story quest that was. Very emotional. Definitely one of the best cutscenes again we've had in a while. I must say that Leva lore is definitely out there contender for my favorite, if not straight up my favorite. I liked all the characters in this quest as well, that also helps a lot, and I'm, yeah, I'm super excited for more lore. They keep bringing out stuff, and of course there's a lot of repetition, often, but I guess it's all you can do in a story like this. Sometimes it feels a bit dragged out, but you know, it's nice to have it all logged, and I want to keep it all intact, so this video is probably going to be two hours again. All that to say, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing through it, because I had a blast, and I hope to see you soon with more short videos, and also Yellow Story Quest, that's also a thing. Alright, take care, let me know your theories as well, I love reading about them, and uh, see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye bye.